Okay. Boom. Okay, so welcome back. To Kate's Mail Service, episode 17. Holy shit, it's 17. We've finally made it to the one. One more year and it can drink. Yeah, one seven. Just like mm. us. Mm. Yeah. That's it. Well, it should already be drunk with the fumes that come off of us some, from some night. The amount of fucking drinks we have. I think on we're this just podcast. binge drinkers. I don't think we're alcoholics. No. no. I, yeah. Don't be pretentious. We're being social. This is socially acceptable to talk into microphones yeah, while no, drinking. That's why binge drinking's fine. I'm getting. I'm just. I Do think it. your definition of binge drinking is very far off. Yeah. I was like, you should be in a gutter right now. No, we're fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're fine. It's us, so we're fine. We're fine. If we're it's fine. someone else, maybe different. We're good, we're good. Us, yeah, so check your fine. health and your privilege. Um, I sold my privileges. Okay, rough gig. Yeah, I found gig. out the other day I qualify for this thing called white privilege. I've never Ooh. heard of it before, but apparently it's pretty cool. Mm. Yeah, it gets, you, um, gets you free. I think we can all relate. <laughs> we, we don't have diversity here. No. <laughs> Welcome back to the White Ignorant Podcast. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, yeah, episode 17. Today we're joined by Bryce Veazey. Wow, the crowd goes wild. Benjamin Jones. Holy shit, it's like I've been here before. Deshana Gilly. Yay. And Ethan Urch. <laughs> it's me. It's me. Proper, na- proper, proper Nazi spawn. Wait, what? Hey, sh- hey who said that? Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> don't, say that, don't, don't say that out loud. But that's no, fine. So yeah. Anyway, scares the children. I didn't, we didn't even do any topics this week. What are we going to do? Oh, we actually, I about? do have a genuine topic, so it's probably cool to. It's probably right. games. No, no, no. But we, we can't. We can't no. do that before we talk about how's everyone's week. Hey. We're gonna start at the end of the table. My week's been good. <laughs> Nothing else to add on that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and uh, so my week has been good. I'm closing that donut box, otherwise you're going to binge yourself. My week has also yeah. been good. <laughs> I don't know. Bryce, how's right, your week thanks. been? That's, uh, that's episode 17. <laughs> well, thanks for shooting in. My week started off along a dark and dusty road. Oh, you're, you're supposed to say your week has been good and then shut up. No, no, no. I'm, I'm breaking it. I'm breaking it. Yeah, talk to us. Man. Uh, my week has um, my week, like my, my week has been interesting. Uh, last week and I, after leaving here, I went out on a date on Sunday, so that was pretty good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, it hasn't worked out in the long run, but still, the date was pretty good. More uh, like a sprint. Yeah, no, that's it. But yeah, she um gets the award for not flaky. So, <laughs> but she loses the award for unoriginal excuses. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Your unoriginal excuse ruined it for yourself. So the flaky award has been taken back. Um, you get ultimate flake award now. Uh, but apart from that, um, my week hasn't been too bad. Monday, generally this week it works. It's actually been really slow, really easy going, nice yeah. and cruisy. Uh, best thing about my week, though, is is uh, Thursday morning while driving into work, I actually got to see a meteorite enter the atmosphere and blow into a million smithereen pieces, and then like the largest chunk just kept going, just splintering off. It was... It was some intense shit. It's like God cool. ejaculating oh, on the earth. It's just like, this is, I'm like, I really hope like this Kim is... like Kim Jong-un actually pressed a nuclear button. Yeah, well, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, <laughs> I really hope this is a meteor, otherwise we're yeah. just fucked. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm like, I'm on the way to work. I've got nowhere to hide. I'm going to be nuclear fucking That's the funny up. thing is that the, and in this day and age, it's like we would all just stand there watching it and be yeah, like, but, is ooh, it a nuclear uh, warhead? Is it? Is Look, it? fireworks. Yeah. It's fireworks. Yeah. Yeah. So, you see this little fat Asian dude on the end of it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Cowboy hat riding it. Woo-ha! Oh, Sorry, God. Oh. That was my apologies. <laughs> Hello? Can anyone hear? Anyone? <laughs> anyone? Don't do that again. Ow, fucking I'm rough. I'm sorry. You should be sorry. Yeah, man. We're gonna, I didn't we're realize gonna... it was going to be that loud. <laughs> yeah, I think. What? Well, I think I think we should just make Ben the ASMR part of the podcast <laughs> after that stint. Oh, uh, my ears haven't recovered yet. That's just ow, ow, yeah, ow. Yeah, I didn't even get to, I didn't get to my Friday. So Thursday night I ended up just coming straight up here into the um, city to hang out with City Fan Bam. Hey, it's us, and that's so much hey. so much more fun. Not just, just talking, enjoying my jokes. Yeah. Don't tell me to shut up. <laughs> just, just so much, so much less abuse. <laughs> Moral of the story is: don't have parents. Yeah, oh, that's it. Yeah. Ethan sold his. Nah, they're dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> but you didn't well, have money. But you got to think a little bit. Yeah, but you got to think mm. about it. You got free Milo. Yeah, true. Mm. Dad does taste pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> dad Milo, get your dad Milo to go Dave. and go and go with Milo. Ethan's dad in a drink today. <laughs> Excellent. Mm. Oh, yeah, you mm. taste amazing. Mm. Ethan flavored. Ethan dad's flavor. Ethan's dad. Ethan's dad flavor. Yeah. Excellent. Shit, when you anyway. sneeze and he sneezes. All I know is my uncle's flavor. Who is me? Wow. I'm glad, right. you, I'm glad you, you admitted that. We're worried for a while, though. Okay. 
You can join the uh, uncle in the cupboard closet. Closet um. Club. So yeah, the rest of your week it's yeah, still so happening it's now in the closet. <laughs> yeah, no, the rest we of my, out of the closet. The rest of my week um followed as playing handball at BWS for most of the day. Yeah, oh, yep. anxiety. We just yeah. played work. Yeah. Oh, glass thought, everywhere. Yeah, so much, so much fun. It's just gone. I just want to little... throw a handball in a store full of expensive glass items. Ethan did that. Full That's of fine. liquid. It's fine. It's nothing. It can't be worse than him just dropping the boxes on the floor and not giving a fuck. Yeah, you were like delicately helping me do the load, and I'm just like, yeah, this one goes here. Yeah, <laughs> throwing it everywhere. I'm like, holy shit. What's happening? There's controversy. Yeah, over what's there. going on? Nanya. No, we want to know. On? What's going on? Where's the what? Mask. <laughs> oh. I feel like someone's conflicting. Uh huh. What? <laughs> it's in the cupboard underneath. Okay. We have, a, we, have, we have an annoying little brother intern. Just shut up and sit there. Your one job is to shut up and sit there. Excellent. All right. What? Because Bryce, so what else has happened to your week? You're just here now. Yeah, I'm just I'm just here now. I, um, I Tash gave me a fuck ton of donuts. Oh my god. Absolute fuck ton. Like fuck ton. I have never seen so many donuts like in one place. Worth. Yeah, a lot of donuts. Your parents are gonna shut the fuck up. No, I'm charging him a five dollars per donut. Yeah, right. That's yeah. normal. That's I'm, fucking, right, I'm making yeah. some money off this shit. That yeah. sounds like a good exchange rate, actually. Yeah, that's yeah. it. So, you know, um, that's the delivery cost and the out of my time expenses. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you had to deliver it, yeah. Yeah. And you, yep. That's pretty much it. Fuck yeah, you're running a business. <laughs> That's it. Hang on. Mobile donuts. You should set up shop next to Donut King. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like Gary that, would love. Well that that, that new shop. That's Yeah, there. they sell They got me some they got me some competition. They do um cinnamon croissants mm. like like cinnamon sugar croissants that's that that coffee place that's next door is it no, no, no. it just opened up a new place yeah oh, on the i don't opposite know what it's side. called oh, okay bonbons there you go bonbons mm, this mm. is not promoting bonbons don't go to bonbons <laughs> look random mask has appeared you keep your shit out of this fucking room <laughs> you got one job you got one job <laughs> yan, yan mask has it's appeared. all right no i got a, i got a good spot for it i got a good spot what? for it right there we go you had one job. Perfect. Stay out of the room. We're trying to fucking set it up now. There we go. Look at that. Yeah. Perfect. Great. So, um, Bryce, would you like to tell us about your weekend with that mask? Well, that it, target's clearly a cum shot target. Me and this mask <laughs> go way back. We had some fun times together, some sad times, rough times, really rough times. Ejaculating. A time. lot of choking the end of my penis times. And then anyway. that's how this white spot appeared on it right there. See that, kids? That's. Anyway. That's my semen. <laughs> End of the story is if you want to suck dick, expect a spot on your face. <laughs> Tash is just like, mm. Boom, Ben's <laughs> sucking my dick later. <laughs> um, I tried to move them on from this, but oh, they did, kept didn't going. Didn't you like yeah. it? Didn't you like it? I was telling a story. I got rid of the mask for a reason. Why? Didn't, didn't you like the story? Because he was so pushy about it. Yeah, but I, I created a story around it. Anyway. I created yeah. a story. Yeah. It's like Larry, the cactus. Anyway. It's still pointing the wrong fucking way. Drunk yeah, ass cactus, motherfucker. I don't know. We turn around hoping it's straighten up and he's just going the wrong way completely. Is he just too heavy like for his own I, I don't even know. I feel like... Ben's got a bent cock. <laughs> 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 Confirmed right here. Ben's got a bent cock. Boom. Hashtag Ben's bent cock. Hashtag Jew. <laughs> hashtag Jew cock. Yeah. Hashtag Jew cock. Jew cock that. <laughs> Jew cock that cock for me. Um, Anyway. Uh, anyway, so um, anyone else's week was apart from good? Ethan? Anything, any interesting story? <gasps> How about your missing cat in action and returning of the cat? How oh, I'll get into that in a second. Yeah, yeah, all right. I guess my week then. Yeah, <laughs> no, no. Week. I, I, I did the edits for this and then I got to edit Lost Mail this week, which was kind you, of fun. You got to, like you wanted to. and you... I didn't want to. I oh, no, you, had to because Ben didn't it, want to do it. Like, I it's not that I to. didn't want to do it. You said you're busy, so you I don't have, want to do it. You uh, chose your priorities. It's fine. I get it. Work's well, more important. That's one, fine. One Get provides it. money. This provides wholesome family time. That's it. Does that pay the Telstra bill? Games. Thank you, Tash. You have been playing a lot of video games. Like you had plenty You're of supposed time. Supposed to be on my side. <laughs> Since when? You never put me in lost mail. Oh, I see, edited this week, so I, you were in this. I knew that would gonna was gonna backfire You're eventually. In this episode, I knew so. that was gonna backfire. You had plenty of time to play your video games last night. <laughs> <laughs> and the night before. And the night before. Anyway. Oh, what happened the night before? Before that one, he took a whole tissue box to his room. <laughs> yeah, you had plenty of time to wank. <laughs> what, I don't wank. What was that about stuff. easing up on me again? What about it? <laughs> what, are we You've to, been through this. You're we to, depressed. Are this we week. meant You're to fine. ease up on you? No, we're not. We're just meant to keep treating. We were treating him how we were. Like we treat him how we always treated him. Just last week, he had a bad day, and he took everything to heart. It's fine. When did you take everything to heart? 
What day was that? Was that when I was still around? <sighs> no, it was like beforehand. Apparently, we trashed him. No, when? so when, when did we trash him? So uh, it was like on the Friday. I just wasn't. I wasn't feeling so great. And oh, and so, you looked fucking depressed. Well, yeah, because I was, was and I was feeling depressed. shit. And the doctor confirm it though. Yeah. Where's your Where's your uh, health note? Whatever the fuck they call it. So mean. We dude, are. Dude, dude, you know half half of the people who are depressed don't don't get clinically diagnosed. Well, they're not really depressed. Ethan just fucking laying it out there. There goes half of our viewership. <laughs> I just think, well, go see a doctor. It's free. But anyway. Um, it's only free if you suck their cock. Yeah, true. Mm. That will make you undepressed if you're sucking a c- cock. Like, you ever... Yeah, I can suck and dick cures depression. Yeah, oh, easy. It, it does. Yeah, they either choke on it and die Look. or they just realise it's so good that they Goth want more. Goth girl wants to come more than she wants to die. Yeah, that's I it. I like that meme and it's like Kim Jong-un and, and Trump like signing the thing and it's just like Trump... I owe you one chubby goth girl. Yeah. <laughs> and then Kim Jong-un was like, yeah, I'll sign this. Yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> Take this on for um, But no, anyway, yeah, I got, to, I got to edit Lost Mail. It was really kind of fun. I, like, I, I, I went through for the angle of try to make it as stupid, as obnoxious, and as fun as I could with what I had so that Ben doesn't let me ever touch it again so I don't have to edit it ever again. Backfire. And it backfired. Um, ben really liked it. Ben, you want to try, Ben? You can... I really, I liked, really liked it. it. I liked it. I like, You're allowed to talk. I like that Tash was in there. Yeah, I liked that I was in it too. But I also didn't like Shut Technically the fuck you up. weren't because number twenty six was in it, not you. No, yeah, that's her no, face. It was at the start. No. You, read the subtitles. <laughs> Did you not credit me? No, I at the and the subtitles at the beginning, it's all twenty six all the way through. Oh, excellent. Little little uh little foreshadowing, right? <laughs> yeah, right. So when you start to speak it says twenty six. I think I noticed that and I was like, What the fuck did that say? But then I watched the rest and I'd forgotten about it by the end. <laughs> yeah. Wow. See, sneaky. there's Easter eggs. I put little Easter eggs through it. Sneaky. What kind of Easter eggs? Caramel eggs? No. Oh, no, just the crunchy ones. Oh, okay. They're good. They're better. Yeah. They're like three years ago, don't Oh, no, no. Yeah, no. yeah that's powder. But anyway. Um, but no, I did that. I put all that up and I thought it was, it was kind of fun. What are you doing? Are you pouring drink on him? Yeah. He needs it. <laughs> You're just a washcloth. Apparently all I am is just a fucking cum rag washcloth. <laughs> we just dump shit on you. <laughs> Rubbish piece of shit. You know we love you, right? It's uh, just because I'm Jewish, I just, isn't it? I accidentally spilled a bit, so I just sort of rubbed it in to get rid of it. <laughs> it's like, fuck this, you know. It doesn't exist. Anymore. It's not there anymore. Mm. No, that's going to turn me on. Uh, Ew. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> it's the only action Ben gets. I have the same name as your sister, dude. Yeah. yeah. You're doing that to your sister? That's Ooh, weird. that's, yeah, that's creepy. Anyway. What? Mm-hmm. It's cool. Moving on. Ben's in, but, ancestral. Doing what? To my what? Ben's think, ancestral. No, we'll fuck off. No. It here. No. It here no, first. It's, it's no. Facts. <laughs> facts. Locked in. No. But this is Tash number one. No, ta- we yeah, already agreed yeah, on that. Tash number one. No yeah, take backsies. But my Tash is Tash.0. No. 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 Tash two. Yeah, she's I don't just even know what the two. argument is, so why are you looking at me for backup? <laughs> I don't know the argument. The argument is that this is this, is this is Tash number one, and I then every other number one. Then every other Tash is just a number below, like above. Yeah. you know, like yeah, I know that. Yeah, less of that. But he he doesn't agree on that. It's like X twenty three. Yeah, X twenty four. It's like Wolverine. You're Wolverine. Yeah, Wolverine's I'm weapon. You're X. our Wolverine. Huh? <laughs> Wolverine is weapon X. Look, I don't fucking know anymore. But she's X twenty six. Bryce, how was your week? <laughs> well, my week was amazing, Ben. It started off with me going on a date. On <laughs> and it went terribly. No, oh, but yeah. no, I, 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 um, no, I did the thing, and then my cat was missing for like two days, and I was kind of scared, and I was upset, and then uh, I had oh. confirmation from Tash from Ben that my cat was seen earlier that morning, and yes. I was like, oh, there's hope. She's not dead. Uh, and then I and I go to bed that night last night. And she's just curled up in my bed, like, and I switch the light on, and she looks at me like, can you turn the fucking light off, Yeah, cunt? she's like, sorry, dude, I've just, I've had a bit of a bender, can you yeah, fucking man, turn I've the been, light off? I've been fucking loose, can you just shut the fuck up? So, but no, I had cute little cuddles with her, and, um... Uh, Missed her. Good girl. Yeah, and then when I come home this afternoon from work, she was in the bedroom, and, um... Yeah, she's a little slut. She just loves the little pats. Yeah, she. I think she just needed like maybe some time away to collect her thoughts. No, and then she was like, no, I she was you. doing a road trip. Yeah, she yeah, was oh, doing like a road father, trip. like daughter. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Um, but no, I, I, uh, but we were leaving this afternoon, and she's like across the street on the neighbor's fence, just looking down in some grass, like just chilling on the top of a fence, like perfect target for a psychopath kid to shoot my cat. Yeah. <laughs> like she was just sitting there perfectly why propped you, up. Luckily, why have you got a fear that a kid's going to shoot your cat? Because we watched a fucking thing the other night about some Japanese kid who went and raped a bunch of kids. 
and like right used, what? but like but, and you're like, but like some oh, of the yeah, yeah, yeah the, but the, the psycho the Japanese human the human vampire yeah whatever the fuck he is a skits cunt but anyway this dumb Japanese guy he just killed a bunch of kids and killed a bunch of cats and like was, that was some of the early warning signs when he was a kid he used to kill oh, people's yeah, cats oh yeah that's that's uh, so, all serial killers kill animals first. Yeah, so that's what I'm worried about. That's when she was missing. And I'm like, some fucking serial killer psycho cunts probably killed my cat. Oh, uh, fuck. True. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. She's good. She's too tough to be taken down by a mere human. Yeah, but yeah. Bullets, bullets are pretty quick. Mm. But anyway, um, no, she's home safe. It was all good. Excellent. I had made her all week and I've been picking up like a baby and he loves yeah, it. He loves being picked up. I mean, he is getting desensitized to it. Like He loves it. He loves being picked up by me. This big dog. Uh, yeah. Maine, Maine is adorable. He's, he's getting better with trucks, though. He doesn't get as suicidal around him. Yeah. Was, you know, actually, there he's was one time I was, I was walking him one, one day this week, and there was a, a motorbike that went past. But, like, uh, he, he, he got kind of, like, scared of it, went to turn around, and he'd be like, like um, bark at it. But the, it's like he kind of saw it was a motorbike, and he was just like, oh, you're not a, you're not a truck. And kept oh, you're not big enough to kill me. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. <laughs> I can take you on any day of the week. Yeah, come here, bike man. I'll fuck uh, the, I'll this, one, this one I can fuck up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, no. I know. I love our dog. He's a fucking delight. I love our dog. He's, he's a, a f- licky boy. He's Ooh. a licky, licky boy. Oh, he boy. always licks. Licky boy. I, I want to go back on, on my week too. I, yeah, go. They got a new pet at the house. What? His name's Tim. What? You got a new pet? Oh, yeah. Me too. Oh, our what? House. <laughs> oh, our house. Oh, right. You're talking about us. Yeah, like, the city, city home. Know. City home. They got a new pet. Tim. He's amazing. I like oh, Tim. Shout out, Tim. He, he lo- likes He likes Bryce's lyrics? Yeah, he likes my lyrics about ripping out fetuses. <laughs> 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 yep. And he's like, that's more for my personal projects. Wartooth isn't, uh, they're a bit too PC for this kind of, this kind <laughs> yeah, of Yeah, my work. shit's pretty shout dark. Shout out to Wartooth. It just gets real dark. <laughs> Excellent. I feel like I should, I'm going to write him some songs. It's real dark yeah, songs. You c- collab. Yeah, you can sit there and just brainstorm. You get a credit. Like. That's, that's it. We'll just go sit in the graveyard and just think about lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. We so, romantic. So, Ethan, that's, that's your week? Uh, and, and I've had my brother message me halfway through the week wanting to come onto the, like, just to come and watch and just come out and get out of the house. And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Um, and yeah, so we'd you, pick him up from the train station before. You can see us waving, but you can't see him waving back. Yeah, he's a puppet. He sits in the corner of the room. And he stays there. Oh, well, actually, he's not even in the room. We've actually got him sitting in the hallway. Yeah, he's sitting out in the <laughs> hallway like a little dog. <laughs> Shh, stay put, boy. <laughs> Zip it. What'd I say? What'd I say? <laughs> what did I say? No talking. Zip it. Fucking. Hey. <laughs> Zip. But anyway. Zip. Yeah, cool. <laughs> I want to taste of your zipper. <laughs> but no, he, um, yeah. He's I got a little chill. bag of shush with your name on it. Mole, 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 mole. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Excellent. that's my week, basically. Now, right. now we're here. Congrats. So, You're up, I guess. Who's, no, my week is fine. Who's got a topic? <laughs> Why don't you want to talk about your week? What's up? Is it no, hot topic? Fine. I, okay. I, I just I'll, had a fine I'll talk about, week. I'll we talk need, a, we need a flashing light behind us, so when we go say topic, I hit it and it flashes. Yeah, fuck you. So it can be like, topic, and the flash in the background, yeah, so we we'll know we're going on topics. We'll get there eventually. Topic. Topic. Apparently Facebook successfully updated. Oh. Uh, my week, my week, oh, my week. Fine, sure. we are back to your week, I guess. Oh, okay. What? I was just saying, hit us with a topic. We've been yeah. through your week. We went through your week. I didn't, what? You yeah. said your week was good, and that's all we need to know about I it. Did, uh, okay. right, tell us about your week, man. <laughs> Fine, if we have to fucking listen to his week. Oh, fuck, fuck wait up. Let me get the razors. No wonder he gets so depressed. <laughs> 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 like, not clinically depressed, but depressed. Like, doctor hasn't confirmed it yet. If you uh, if you find the bleach missing at home, you know where it is. Yeah, right. You've been Can snoring I in it again? room when you die? We actually <laughs> store it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you've shattered it. Yeah. Organized. She also gets the Switch and the PS4 Pro, by the way. Wait, what? Can you I just get the, the PlayStation? Ba- you get the Batman PS4. Fuck yeah. You're outside. Shut the fuck up. What'd I say? I'm not, I'm being serious. Shush. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is my work. <laughs> yeah. I love Stop you. Stop talking to him. I love you, but shut up. Okay. Sorry. You love so, me? You love ben, me? You're ben, you're weak. Ben, you're weak. <laughs> ben, you're weak. Ben, oh, I got distracted weak. by Bryce's face. Mm. Fuck it, we're just, no, just going to have sex on live stream. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I'm, ta- oh. I'm taking my clothes off. Okay. <laughs> ben, ben, Everyone can... stop caressing Bryce. <laughs> oh, caress me. I'm enjoying this. Yeah, the action I get. It's like, we know, we know you're starved for touch, Bryce, but like... I'm starved for love. <laughs> we're Oh, that's really hot. Keep going. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, um, I finished uh, Horizon Sounds Zero like Dawn a great week, on the ben. weekend. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm fucking sorry. I'm fucking sorry. No, but, all right. So because Ben Ben was freed up, Ben was freed up from a lot of editing, so he had time to finish Horizon Dawn. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Ben. It's so mean to you. It's so fucking raw. Anyway, no, but you've actually pushed through. Horizon Door is on. Yep. All right, so whose topic are we going? No, no, no. You're actually like as pushed... as, as gamesless legislator. <laughs> yeah, I I finished. I fi- yeah, actually, that's un- that's something we haven't announced on the podcast. Actually, is that Ethan is the legislator of my games list. Yeah, I'm in charge of any decisions he wants to make changes in the list about. Really. Yeah. So you can't just change games when yeah. you want. Well, well, he has to I, come for me I, for bring, I bring them to him as a as a discussion. It's not necessarily approval. It's more like a confirmation of the way that I'm feeling about it. Um, and so um, we've recently changed the Assassin's Creed games to the bottom of the list just for the time being. All of them or just? Uh, Syndicate and Origins because okay. Odyssey is coming out this year. So I'll get them pounded out one after the other. Odyssey? Like Abe's Odyssey? No, like not um, quite. Greek Greek mythology Greek, one. It's Greek. like a Roman emperor one. It right? actually looks really cool. Mm. I'm I, actually really. I keen stopped for playing it. it after like three. Uh, yeah, four. Uh, four and Rogue. Yeah, that was where I was like, I'm content. This is pirate simulator. I love it. But. I see. I quit on Unity because like I played halfway through Unity. I was just like, shit. Mm. The one that was a, that's the one in Paris for anyone who doesn't know about it. Yeah, and Born I never, I never played. Places. I never played. I played Syndicate a couple of times, but I never got fully into it. Um. But yeah, I finished Horizon Zero Dawn on the weekend, so um, I'm now on to Middle Earth: Shadow of War. It's based on uh, Tolkien's uh, Lord of the Rings series. <laughs> not canon. Not canon. Not canon. But Definitely um, not canon. But it's actually it's really fun to play. Actually, I, I thoroughly enjoyed the first one. The first one was uh, oh, pardon me. The first one was actually like really fun. Uh, can you smell that through the microphone? Disgusting. Probably. I can smell my feet. Oh, yeah. but, oh you're, you took your shoes off? Oh, yeah, it fucking, fucking gets toasty Jesus. in here. It's like a fucking hot cross buns in an oven. Yeah, all right. Yeah, um, and, uh, you know, walked made, a, walked made a pretty much every day. That's good. As usual. That's the, good. the motorbike story. Has he started losing weight yet? Has anyone noticed? Yeah, he has. He has lost weight. Lost yeah. weight. He looks he's vascular. actually he's got like skinnier now. And Is I'm it like, because he gets walked twice a day? Yeah, probably. It's because the food's locked outside. To yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, you guys need to make sure he's got his food. I never let him. When you lock him out. in, when you lock him in, make sure he's got his food. Sometimes. No, I always. Oh, and I like always last sure. night when I come, like he his food was empty, like and the water was empty. So just no, like, I, I try. I try to keep it. Right. I try. I try to keep on top of it's it. It's actually me. I when can. I rolled up, I drank all his water and ate all his food. <laughs> that sounds. Bright. That sounds. I rolled up. Right. I'm like, oh, dog bright. biscuits. My favorite. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. And you've been exercising. You've been. Yeah, I've been getting back into boy. back into exercising. I done. I did it a couple of times tonight. Tonight. This week. <laughs> wow. Just did it a couple of times tonight. How did you fit that in? Just like I did with your mum. Huh. Fair enough. With a truck wench. <laughs> what? Yep. Sorry, Bryce's mum. <laughs> she knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> she knows what I'm talking about. I had to do it to him. I had to do it to him. I had to do it to him. <laughs> yeah. Continue with your week, Ben. That's that's pretty much this it. This is oh, that's the most it. boring fucking week I've ever heard. Yeah, we this haven't is even fucking talked depressing. about yours. Yours sounds really boring because you haven't even talked about it. I didn't do it. anything all You week. brought a Tim home to us. Yeah. Shh. <laughs> yep. Nothing she's like, more. she's like, I didn't want to fucking talk about that, motherfucker. <laughs> Shut up, Bryce. But, but and they, you, they and they you blame know. me for being the loud mouth. <laughs> <laughs> You're tearing up with laughter. Shut the fuck up, everyone. <laughs> oh, okay. This is going to be a silent anyway. podcast from now on. Tash is just going to speak. No. Minus everything, how was your week? <laughs> no, you're not at all. I mean, it was fine. I worked days and then some days I didn't work. Yeah. I got some excellent Indian... Kush. Weed. Candles. Not scented candles. Scented candles. Scented candles. Scented candles. <laughs> not weed. There's no weed like, involved. <laughs> There's just Indian scented candles. <laughs> <laughs> what was your experience with these scented candles? Yeah, was just... it good? Yeah, what, talk about that night. Yeah, was that good scented candle night? <laughs> Oh, so me and Aria had a date. There we go. There we go. That's something I can talk about. (laughs) Me and Aria had a date and um, it's because, you know, it was a special day for her and it was a sad day for her, so I wanted to give her a special night. It's a weird day to have, though. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Especially scented candles. A two-year anniversary with... with... Your ex. But, like... What? 
It's, it would have been her like anniversary, but no, you just don't. Up. You don't do that. That's no, just... well. Instead, I made it our friendship anniversary. Oh, okay. So we had a nice little date. We went out. Um, I got some Halloween to shout with her. I mean, scented candles. candles yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of scented candles. What did you say? Halloween. I got us Hel- some hell. Halloween. Oh, Halloween. Yeah, you said some Halloween. It's tasty Halloween. But I meant scented candles and um. So we had a little bit of that and then we greatly underestimated our tolerance. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good those, night. Those scented candles. Like yeah, scented really, candles. Real potent, real potent candles. Potent shit. Like I've, I mean, like my friend Jordy, I've seen him smell some scented candles before, <laughs> but never have I seen him smell some scented candles this strongly. <laughs> <laughs> and and get so like scented <laughs> out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just, he's scented, like Buddha, like yeah. fucking scented. <laughs> Um, and then, so yeah, we went out, had some Turkish food. The waiter was really cute, but like, we were, we were so <laughs> high on our scented candles that like, we just kept giggling. And guy or girl cute? Guy. He oh, was, okay. ooh, Turkish boy, like the accent. Ooh, was, he, was he tight? <laughs> yeah. Was he um, a skull fuck date or smash? Regular skull fuck. Regular skull say. fuck. Ooh. Not, not, not smash. Not a like, smash. still a skull fuck, but, mm. like, I would skull fuck again. But maybe bend Ooh. him over again? Yeah, 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 I would skull fuck again. So and then bend him over. Double yeah. skull yeah, fuck yeah, yeah, worthy. Yeah. Especially if you brought home that Turkish food. Oh, my God. So we're just... Uh, and then the takeout food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, we had that. And then, you know, it was fucking great. Love, loved that. It was a lot of food for us. It's a really good Turkish place. West, it's the West one. Small women. Where the is one it? At, the one at uh, in the uh, across South Bank Cinemas, like oh. that, like line of shops and. Yep. It's one with tables. Tables are really low. Yeah. It feels really authentic. No, yeah. that's really good food. Sometimes yeah. it's a belly dancer. Yeah, they have belly dancers sometimes. Yeah. Are we? When are we going there? Soon. You just, you you just have me with belly dancer. Yep. We'll have to free ourselves up a bit more. Yeah. Um, and then we went and saw. Oh. Pardon me, Jurassic World. Horror movie. Um, which, you love dinosaurs, don't you? <laughs> I've never seen any of the other Jurassic m- movies. Park movies? <laughs> Jurassic Park movies. Well, now they've got, like, they're not all Jurassic Park things. Yeah. So, so Jurassic movies. I've never seen any of them. Um, I have a phobia of dinosaurs. Yeah. But, you know, I had to, you know, I fucking relished my scented candles. So for the first half of the movie, I was snoring. <laughs> So in the, in the cinema. Just so much scent. <laughs> I was just like <laughs> feeling real relaxed from all those scented candles. <laughs> and then I woke up and it was like the second half of the movie where dinos were in full fucking force. Uh, <laughs> ooh, do you scream a little bit? <laughs> no, I didn't scream, but I just was like too, too scented candle to move or get away. <laughs> And I was just like, just my whole, my mind was like, I'd rather be literally anywhere else but here right now and I can't go anywhere, but I'm stuck here, but I just have to wait it out. And then we went to like a pre- premiere screening, so it started at like 9.30, so it didn't finish till midnight. Oh, wow. And I was like, I just want to be fucking home. Like, I don't want to have to catch the train home. Yeah. Like, fuck's sake. So I ended up just paying for an Uber for Ari to go all the way home and drop me off halfway. <laughs> But that was Shit. a beautiful date night, and we got some cute photos. Ari always looks hot as fuck. I love her. You do too when you put the effort in. <laughs> when, I put, <laughs> when you put the effort in once every three months. Yeah. Like, you, yeah. You <laughs> yeah. pull it off, girl. Yeah, um, <laughs> I'm trying to give compliments. I pull a lot of things off. Yeah, my you clothes. Think, yeah. Kids' clothing. Oh, yeah. Kids' clothing. <laughs> Kids aren't even wearing We won't talk about that one time down the slide. <laughs> Just the mannequin at the shop. It happened one time at the playground. One time I stuck razors uh, in the slide that took their clothing off. Oh, <laughs> but that was your week? <laughs> <laughs> that was your week? Yeah, that was my week. <laughs> yeah, okay. But, like, I don't know, like, just quickly on the Jurassic Park thing, I want to, like... Um, yeah. You reckon they should just go full throttle, just stupid with it? You like Sharknado it? Yeah, well, like, like what, Jurassic. What the, what's the fucking point? At like this maybe point? like instead of Jurassic Park. Oh, okay, cool. What's bigger? Oh, Jurassic World. <gasps> oh, yeah. What's bigger? Jurassic Universe. Like <laughs> yeah. imagine like they just go Sharknado on it with like dinosaurs in yeah. space and shit. Well, they just like start doing like aliens, so they go to another planet and like there's just fucking dinosaurs there. Yeah. How fucking sick would that be? Yeah, yeah. Ben, please chime in. Why are you just looking at but me? But, like, I remember... I, I'd, I'd, I'm allowed to talk. I'm not a big fan of the Jurassic Me movies. neither, but I'm just... Neither am I. I'm a fan of the first movie and the third one. 
<laughs> Maybe if they made them like mechanized, but it was like a post post apocalyptic world or something like that. See that even scarier. <laughs> well, like chime them in, and then like they got something to do with like Hitler in the center of the earth, like that Iron Sky movie. Oh, like the opposite side of the moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like but yeah, but the, the the Nazi base on the dark side of the moon. Yeah, yeah. They've done a sequel. What? Apparently. They what were. are you even talking about? The uh, there's a movie called Iron Sky, and it's based off the whole theory that Nazis landed on the moon. And there's a secret Nazi base on the moon. Well, and everyone that's where knows that's residing. a fact. Yeah. He's just got a point there. Yeah. It, what do you mean movie? That's just a documentary on facts. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and then they got a sequel where it's like um, the hole in the earth. So then there's Nazis hiding in the hole in the yeah. earth as well. I couldn't Hollow even watch. Earth I theory. Yeah. Mm. I couldn't even watch the first one. Again, so another documentary on just facts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Nazis, where did they go? They're on the moon and they're inside the earth. I'm surprised David Atbury David really didn't want to sign up for that one. Mm. You know, like he could have. He could have. Watch as the Nazi soldier <laughs> crawls out of the hole of the earth. It it really, <laughs> you can see as he climbs out, he's already saying his first racial slurs. <laughs> mein Kampf, mein Kampf. <laughs> he's reciting his fellow leader's main biography. Heil Hitler! Heil Hitler! For the fjord. This is the noise that they make early in the morning as they wake up out of their dirt holes. As they cry for a Jew meal. <laughs> as they cry for a Jew meal. Yeah, yeah eat them like turkeys. If because you... Nazis ate Jew. Well, you wash them off, they taste pretty good. Why would you cook them in oven that's otherwise? Say, chuck them in the <laughs> oven. Yeah. Roast Jew. They're like, What's they're that like, classic? They're, they're classic... like potatoes. You take the clothing off, throw them in there, cook yeah. them up for a little while. Have wrap them in a bit of foil, makes it get quick, quick quicker. <laughs> wrap them in bait. Wrap them in bacon. Yeah, drench them in butter. Oh, oh. tasty. Mm. What's right, that? What's that? What's that classic Jew joke from high school? It's like, what's the difference between a pizza and a Jew? Yeah. The pizza doesn't scream when you put it in the oven. <laughs> 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 I've been saying it for years. Yeah, it's the classic. I didn't come up with it. I've been doing it for years too. Putting pizzas in the oven. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I love my pizzas. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> motherfuckers, we all over the place. Yeah, we yeah. fucking. This show was not planned. No, we just. We're... Well, does anyone else have another topic? I'm sorry, ben you, hasn't you, even gone to his. You topics. started. You started talking about ovens. I got a little bit unco- uncomfortable. Yeah, I don't have sure. a good history with ovens. What does Bryce come in with his really nice, like fitted, cut jumper, and you're just like, I'm feeling antsy. Is, is <laughs> yeah. Hugo Boss around here? I don't like this. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna gonna end up in the kitchen again. Yeah. Not again. Not again. Not again. Not again. You guys can like half in the oven last time. Half in the oven. All right, Ben. Did you even get to your topic? No, I didn't. What's your topic? Yeah, what is your topic? My topic. So I was at work. It gives me time to think of mine. I was at work and I was having a chat with my uh, fellow work person. Um, Was it a cute talk? We both both, uh, work in the warranty department at my work. Is he hot? No, she's not. Is she? Oh, okay. She this isn't that, this is, is the, this that girl you were talking about? <clears throat> no, What's different. That? Different. This isn't last week's talk. Right. So, um, she was talking. She's so uh, her son got uh, the Legend of Zelda for her birthday, and it made me think about how, like, you know, because because he's about seven years old, right? So, like. That's going to be a part of his childhood, is Breath of the Wild. You shouldn't be thinking about that too much. Are you thinking about children again? No, sorry, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, so that's going to be his chime into the world. Sorry. (laughs) That's going to be a part of his childhood, just like how Pokemon Red, when I was five years old, was a part of my childhood. So it just... My topic basically is just things that you remember from when you were a kid that just bring you so much nostalgia and My uncle. (laughs) I'm trying to think of positive things, Bryce. God damn it. Who said that it, wasn't who's, a positive yeah. thing? Who said that wasn't positive? That, was, said, look, that, well, was, that I mean, was family bonding time. If you, if, you, if you liked it, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> who said that I like Nostalgic. Mm. So basically, yeah, nostalgic things. Like for me, like uh, Pokemon Red, once again, I said, I said that before. Um, one of my first games that I ever played when I was a kid was Sonic the Hedgehog. I have that on my iPhone. It's one of the one of the best games that I've ever played. I have it on PlayStation as well. Um, it's just one of those kind of like go-to games that I can just, I can pick it up and play it whenever the hell I want. Is that, um, a, is that a dick piercing that penis has, Tash? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. It's an accessory. Mm. Um, Cock ring. It's, no, it's like a, yeah, it's like a, a squeezy, like, oh, that's like why. it's a, like a piercing goes <laughs> oh, both ways. Goes... Both Ooh, ways. Imagine that, meeting in the middle. In the dick. How yeah. would that yeah. feel in your vagina? 
you know, ribbed for her pleasure. Yeah, I'd, wanna, I'd only ever want to have sex with a condom on that. Like, just something, like, some kind of barrier for your dick so it doesn't, like, what if... No, like gets if, caught on a flap. Yeah, what if she like does a kegel or like orgasms and it gets tight and like rips your piercing after your tip? Oh, oh and it tears your penis in half into four pieces. Yeah. So then your dick's just like your dick's oh gonna my look God, like you just got cubed. Your yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Your dick's gonna look like um like when when someone sticks a finger down the end of a shotgun, just like <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna look like the fucking sarlacc pit when it's done. It's just gonna <laughs> fucking tentacles and shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, basically just like childhood things you get nostalgic yeah, over, that like, regardless of. Regardless of um, I reply to that. <laughs> regardless of like uh, however much time passes, you just you you go back into it and you're just like, fuck, this is awesome. Mine Which was, game? Which game? It games, videos, movies, um, anything. Family well, member. Toys. Getting in a family member. Family members. My nostalgia is uh, <laughs> <laughs> pouring like a champ there, Tash. She's got to try and remember her childhood. It's going to take a lot of yeah, alcohol. I, was like, I found this. Uh, I need to loosen up for this. My favorite toy when I was a kid was this uh, long pink worm that vibrated when you pressed the button. Of course it was. No, that was your mum's favorite. Yeah, that was your mum's. That was your mum's toy. Sharing is caring. Uh, No, my um, I don't know, probably one of the biggest, like, nostalgia things, (laughs) it's going to sound so redneck, but it's actually... For Easter, for, no, for Easter, we actually got um, pocket knives. I was about, I was six years old and I got my first pocket knife. And I used to take that thing everywhere with me. I learned how to sharpen my knife by like being by about seven. I used to sharpen it up on the um, sharpening stone and stuff. So, yes. Yeah. Oh, just no. knives for me is just like nostalgia <laughs> and stuff like that. Knives just take me back to take my me childhood. Back, take me back to my childhood. <laughs> take me back to the sweet <laughs> knives. <laughs> stabbing <laughs> times. <laughs> Everything's going to be all sharp <laughs> in the stabby times. Uh, oh, baby, in the stabby <laughs> times. <laughs> that is where I stab. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, that, that, that's, that's probably one of my nostalgia things is just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sounds redneck, but it's true. Knives and stuff. I don't know. Shut like... the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking tashed. You're tashed. She's got a point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Yeah. Anyway. Nostalgia. I like, you know, shitty 80s B-grade horror movies. Like Alien takes me back to being way too young to watch Alien and mm. being fucking terrified and... Oh, when that chest burst at first comes yeah. out, you're like, Jesus I like, Christ. I loved it. I was like freaked out. I fucking loved it. I I actually laughed. When the guy turned to porridge, I was like, whoa. As a kid, I was like, holy shit. Did it make you hungry? A little bit for yeah. porridge, yeah. I had porridge at the same time while watching that. Oh, God, I was like, sick, demented Ugh. bastard. <laughs> I'm eating human. Yeah, I was like, Ugh. oh, fuck. But yeah, no, nah, they're good movies. No, they're good. What, eh? other, what other movies? Um... Batman. It, oh, Predator. It, oh, it, it, Batman Forever. I had that on DVD. The worst uh, I of them. I meant the 1989 Batman, but okay. I was, I, 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 I remember yeah. once as a kid. No, that's Batman. Batman Forever is Val Kilmer. Oh, yeah, it was. Which one's the Mike, Michael Keaton one? Uh, Batman 1989 and no, but what's Batman it Returns. It's just called The Batman. The Yeah, but just Batman, that's yeah. right. Is this the one from your childhood we talked about? No, yeah, I had Batman oh, okay. Forever. Who okay. are you? Batman Forever, is, Batman. Batman Forever is the one with Poison Ivy and Doctor Freeze, right? Uh, Batman Forever is Two Face and Riddler. <laughs> Never fucking mind. What's yeah. the, What's one, the with... one with uh, <laughs> Mr. Freeze in that? Yeah. What's that one? Robin. Batman, Batman and Robin. Robin. That's the one we had on DVD. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to fucking kill you with this. I've given you one rule. Please follow it. All right. Come on, man. Um, but yeah, no. Batman and Robin. Batman and Robin, yes. Yeah. Allegedly from an a audience member that isn't actually speaking. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what? I thought that was just a Did voice. Did you speaker. just shot that? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? You I don't just know. We shot it. No, it was the end of the glass. It wasn't no, it, it was technically a shot. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that, oh, everything settled on the bottom. I'm like, this is. This is going to end up loose by the end of the night. We're about. I got to drive home from this. Oh, yeah, it's not going to get no. that loose. Um, I'm already loose. You can get in there whenever you want. <laughs> I do anyway. Fucking those Batman movies were. But the Batman. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Catwoman, yeah. sexy. I remember Poison Ivy, sexy. I remember how I got sexually aroused for the first time watching Batman Returns. I never want to watch it again. Returns, uh, so Returns Thanks, is Catwoman and Catwoman, Penguin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not because of Catwoman, it's because of Penguin. <laughs> Me, yeah. And he bites that nose off. Mm, juicy. Mm. I was gonna say, I remember like where, when Sanity was a thing, we'd go there to like buy yeah. CDs and shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's still there for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah. Old people. Um, no, like I remember once convinced my mum. I was like. She wanted to buy Black Black Eyed Black Eyed Peas CD, and I was like, I convinced her. I'm like, no, we, 
I want to get the Batman DVD. It looks so good. Oh, and it was the one with uh, Batman and Robin. Yeah. And I convinced her. I was like, I want to get this one. I want to get this one. She's like, you're only going to watch it once and then you're going to be done with it. No, I'm going to watch it heaps. I promise. So I, I had to force myself to watch it heaps to prove my mum wrong. <laughs> and and um, yeah, I don't like it. Now your least favorite villain is Mr. Freeze. And Bane and all that. That's that, that's that one. That is the worst portrayal of Bane. No, it was brilliant. I think it was brilliant. That's why when I saw Bane in um, The Dark Knight Returns, I was like, this is shit. <laughs> Where's Poison Ivy? Yeah, I want the juiced up Bane that's like fueled by... Uh, Talia al Ghul, that's not Poison Ivy. <sighs> but uh, uh, yeah, no, yeah, so... How, okay, so could we all just agree that Talia al Ghul, the actor that played her in The Last Dark Knight Rises, was it? Yeah. Is this the chick? Ugly, yeah. Hate her I face. I think she's trying to Marion Cotillard? Hate her face. I think she's fucking Hate beautiful. Her face so I'm, much. I'm trying to... Con- and I'm who are we so actually mad. talking about? Talia okay. she's the one. in the last... Mar- Mar- Marion need- Cotillard, she also... No, you, is need to, in- you need to say faces because I don't remember fucking okay. celebrities. Right, names. Yeah, that sounds like a better but idea. she's the one that... Um, she did the movie with Brad Pitt and it started the him cheating again. Mm-hmm. That's what I was talking about the other oh, day. Oh, is that who he fucked? That's the chick, yeah. From, oh, she's allegedly. Rumoured. Rumoured. Rumoured to have fucked to strike the end of the Bradgelina era. I need to see a photo so I just know if it's an, if it's a skull fuck situation. Do you know, situation. remember the Dark Knight Rises? I only watched it once, so I don't actually. Actually, so did I. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. I've only seen it once. Inception. What? She plays Leonardo DiCaprio's wife in Inception. Yeah, see, I don't even remember. She wasn't in the she movie enough. Like... Yeah. yeah, to give a shit. All I remember is this weird shit. Movie. The world fucking going upside down, kind of crap. That's, yeah, that's, that's like when Tash does scented candles. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. It's like when I drink too much, my world starts fucking spinning. Hmm. I, I I was talking with Tash. We you got we have to do like a house party at your place. Get everyone around. Yeah. We tried. However, all, of her, f- all of her friends bailed. Yeah, I know. But she'll make sure her it's friends only goes. It's because I was like coming at midnight. Yeah. Mm. So to Tash, we get all her this friends bitch. around. Oh, okay. Uh, that's more. Yeah, skull fuck. No, I think she's hot. I'm not I'm into no, it. I don't I have have to, I, she's pretty. I don't know. Yeah, like yeah the face throws me off a bit. I take her and out Talia on a date Argyle or two. And Talia is supposed to be so hot, and she's just like, you know, like. Well, Maybe at most a medium hot. Like she's hot, but she's not Talia. Al-Ghul she's supposed to be like hot. foreign hot. Yeah, like, and that's foreign hot to but me. She's that's yeah. like, not damn. foreign hot. She's also French, so I have a I have a soft spot for girls with French accents. I don't. Yeah, look yeah, at that. No, that's hot. Mm. No, yeah, see, I don't. Th- I don't nah, like her that. I don't much. like. I don't like the face. I'm sorry. No, that's, yeah, that's, that's beautiful. The eyes are nice. The hair's nice. The fake no. No, it's not, like oh, J- Bryce. Hell yeah! Look at that. I'm one. just not a fan. I'm not a fan. No. No, she has nice eyelashes though on that one. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I think she's hot. I can't. Hey, I can't, she's got a fifty-fifty vote with us. I can't so. distinguish yeah. what I don't leave like about her face. Leave like your comments. Leave your answers. It looks too like small. It's small. It's it's small. Like small. It's it's just too small for yeah, the rest of us. Yeah, when I look at everything individually, it's fine. But just together, I hate it. Anyway, so I just wanted to put that out there. That must be like me with share. Oh yeah, see Cher. Like, Cher's unattractive. Yeah, see, like I think there's she little was bits of her. In the 70s. I was just yeah, like, yeah. back then, yeah. I've seen videos from the '70s. She is fucking hot. Yeah. Back then, yeah. What's, oh, what's what's the song she sings on the Navy boat? Mm. No, the one I don't remember the Do name. Do you believe? No, 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 it was. No, no. Oh, if I could turn back no, turn. No, no, no. So you're just Eternal. putting out fucking Cher songs, and that wasn't even Cher. No, but I can imagine her yeah, like was. singing in the leotard. Yeah, okay. I know. And it's I think you can see her pubes at one bit. A little, yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, if you're I could turn getting hard thinking about it. Mm. Yeah. Oh, fuck, such a flight, no, yeah, she was hot in the fucking babe, holidays. And then that I got movie... you, babe. Oh, it's I got share. you, babe. Okay. Yeah, I told you it's share. There's that movie where okay. it's her and Winona Ryder as well is also in Moonwalker. It. Moonraker. Um, Moonwalker. Mermaid. Mermaids. Mermaids. What's Something this? to do with mermaids. Well, yeah. What's this? No, it movie? is mermaids because she loses her virginity on the top of the church tower. Um, went on a rider, and did you watch but then it turns kinky. out the kid the kid slips in the bathtub or some shit, can't get out or something. I so mem- while I she's getting this. the rocks off, someone yeah. someone's kid's dying. That's cool. That's kinky. I want that to be my sex life. I feel like I don't remember that movie at all. No, what, that's how what it movie went is down. it? What movie Mermaids, is it? it's called. It's got Cher and Winona Ryder no, in it. No, I've never seen it. It's funny because like Cher is not like uh, – it. it it's like, um, so Cher is just like a single mom trying to look after these two kids. She's doing a terrible daughter job. And a younger son. Yeah. And then like, Fuck off. the, the older daughter. You've never been a single mom, all right? <laughs> but they, they, it's been single enough. The older daughter is like <laughs> Sorry, a, is a, a Catholic. I fucked enough. <laughs> is, a, is like a Catholic religious. Enough of my hand. Like zealot. <laughs> And and the thing the funny one of the funny bits is like she's all like I'm feeling moody I don't know what's happening and she's she's a virgin at this point in the movie but she's all like I don't know what's happening she walks down the hallway and then she's like 
oh god, she falls backwards and she thinks that she's pregnant. And it's just like there's a portion of the movie, and that's you know, what she's like freaking you... out that she's like going to be the next uh, Mother Mary. But that's what happens. And she goes and has a pap smear, and they're like, "No, you, you, you're a virgin." You're a virgin. What a <laughs> weird fucking movie. Yeah. Who the yeah, fuck? Yeah, I was going to say it's like explaining shit. it. It sounds it's, really it's, weird. Yeah. It's weird. But it's one of those movies that's constantly on like the TV movie cycle. Okay. Oh, like yeah. during the day. Yeah, yeah, I feel like when it's... you're at like the doctors or something, yeah. or you're waiting for your lawyer. I feel like I've seen it like four times. I like how you slept in waiting for your lawyer. Well. When, yeah, when I was a kid. But no. Um, That's what happens when you rape the neighbor's animals. Yeah. Are you, uh, see? Can't you just be polite and leave the leave your animals alive? Have you guys Don't seen the movie Burlesque? Uh, no, enough of it. I can't. Cher's also in that. Yeah. <laughs> I watched enough of it. I got like got it rammed down my throat, some of it. Thanks yeah. to... A certain someone. Uh, yeah, anyway. but like that's a great movie and it's also funny because the main character thinks this guy's gay He's the whole Liza. time. Oh, okay. I'm like, I'm, like, I'm fucking confused. Like, wow. Who the fuck are we? I tried not to say I, the bitch's I wasn't, name. I wasn't around much during that time. Yeah. No, I was disowned. Fine. We missed you. I was pushed away. Well, welcome, but you weren't pushed away. Pushed you, away to the you country. You lived forever away. That's your own fault. I had to live in a shit pit. It's your own fault. Some alligators. You live forever away. <laughs> there's no alligators down where I live, but there's alligators. I've eaten them all. <laughs> That's why there's no more alligators in Australia. Bryce ate them all. I'm going to jump off share though. Beetlejuice. That's why. That's why. That's why, yeah, that's why Steve Owen killed himself. I, Another Val Kilmer. How movie? dare you speak yeah. of Steve Owen like that? Just good movie. I liked it. Yeah. Just, I, I haven't see. watched it in a long time. I like yeah. how there's two conversations happening at the <laughs> yeah, same time, too. Oh, we're cutting in on each other. It's good. No, yeah, no, it's cool. I know. No, Beetle, Beetlejuice is a very fun film, actually. Yeah. I have that's to watch actually, it again. No, that's that's I, one I of my childhoods, actually. Yeah, yeah, I feel like I, I watched it like a Halloween once yeah. when I was very young, like oh, as a Halloween party. Another, another Halloween movie that can also be substituted for a Christmas movie, Nightmare Before Christmas. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that that's is amazing. That's a fucking jam. I just, that's a good one. I love... I just love those Brings movies. Brings me back to Kingdom Hearts. And then when they brought another thing from my childhood, that's actually. That's one of the few games that I played as a kid was Kingdom Hearts. Mm. I think it's, I think the first one, I assume. Mm. Um, but yeah. I remember being way too scared if there was, like, a lot of Heartless. I was like, whoa, I'm intimidated. I want out. And I'd just uh, make my dad, like, I, beat them all. Yeah. And then I'd yeah. just, like, do, like, the walking story bits. But whenever there was, like, enemies, I'd make dad fight them. Hey, dad, can you... Uh, yeah. And then he'd get frustrated because he's like, I want to play the game now. But, like, I have to keep giving the control back to you as soon as I've defeated the enemies. Yeah, cheers, man. Thanks. <laughs> oh, you're like, my dad. You that, yeah. that. that sounds like the most brilliant bit. If I could do the most exciting things about the game and then my kids... Kid does all the boring bits. That's mm. fine. Yeah. yeah. See, I played just Final Fantasy a fuck ton. I just really like the games that were like fucking so difficult that they engross you. Like Final, Final Fantasy Fantasies. Seven, I probably spent almost three hundred hours, and that's just after school. So playing for like an hour after school. Rookie three hundred hours. That's rookie numbers. You got to pump those and numbers I still, up. Still didn't finish the game. I actually didn't finish Final Fantasy Seven. We started playing that when I was about eight, and I actually didn't finish that game until I was twelve. Yeah. That's how many hours we pumped into this game. There's a lot to do. Oh, it is an amazing game. Like, yeah. the graphics are shit nowadays. Back then, they were fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah. Adam, and, Adam, but, Adam goes on about that game. He fucking loves the yeah, shit. Yeah, but no, it. really good. Final Fantasy VIII, probably, for me, was actually more like, memorable, but just because I like the storyline a little bit better. Mm. And I just enjoyed it a little bit more. I don't know. It was a bit more, like, the story followed him a lot more and stuff, and it was more to do with his emotions, I guess. Like it's all about yeah. him. Yeah, you can get like that emotional. on iPhone now. Actually, Tim yeah, was saying the other day he was playing Final Fantasy two. I think. Oh wow! Yeah, I've done two. See, I've done all of them. I've done from one all the way through up to nine. I played ten, pissed me off. Never played ten or ten two. I jumped back in on the bandwagon on twelve. Yeah. Played twelve and thirteen, and then fourteen. Nah. And you played fifteen? It was good. No. It was good for me. I didn't. I didn't actually. I, I played a bit of fifteen. Did not enjoy it. It's the last game on my backup list. Yeah, Nintendo sixty four. I just didn't like how much it changed. Sixty four, but the pod racing game, <gasps> Star Wars this pod, is pod, now pod, this is pod <laughs> racing. Now this is pod racing. Fucking awful. great. <laughs> no, that game. I fucking loved it's that game. Yeah, but where was Darth Maul? Huh? Where was Darth Maul? Where was Darth? Um, in the Han Solo movie. I was busy movie. playing the pod pod racing game. Spoiler alert. Cool. Who's busy? Yeah, right. busy cameoing in um, Disney trying to push feminism down your throat. Sorry, is, um, it, is it feminism or is it trying to push their alternative canon where legends would have been fucking better? Anyway, look, it was. What an, you say is if you're speaking to someone from Lucasfilm or Disney. No, they'll see this. You eventually. know they watch. They watch. You know they do. 
You know, mm-hmm. you heard they pushed back the, or they've put on hold the Obi Wan mm-hmm. and Boba yeah. I'm sad movies. because of that. I like your meme you shared. Because Solo was so sh- Yeah, I know. It's like fucking fanboys shooting themselves in the face because yep. they, they want Obi Wan, but all boycotted Solo. Yeah. As if that wasn't going to turn out fucking yeah. badly for them. Yeah, but at the same time, like, we don't want a bad Obi Wan Kenobi film. Yeah. As long as it has Ian McGregor. And I just think they needed, like, yeah. Yeah, you like, like what my, they're doing with um, this, uh, John yeah. Favreau. Uh, the director of the first Iron Man movie. Yeah. He, he's he been signed on to do a Netflix series of Star Wars, right? And I feel like they're milking series, it now. Oh, it's different though. With this, <laughs> it's got, well, they're doing a have, Lord of the Rings series Yeah, but too. I'm interested in that because it's going to be like five seasons mm. and it actually follows Gandalf more so than anyone yeah. else. I'm like, this is going to be good because... They're going to have to get sorry. a different actor though. <laughs> I'm the, just like, I was the, just series, like, the Star Wars series I'll for let finish Netflix. Lord of the Rings. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. I was just going to say, oh, like... I know a lot of the lore about like Lord of the Rings, so it's like I'm really interested to see if they put it in at the point where he comes across from the Elven Land, yeah, and that, and he actually comes across into Middle Earth, yeah, and that, or they're actually going to um do it before the Hobbit, or they're going to like continue it along after Lord of the Rings. Are they going to yeah. cast Jude Law in this one as well, or no? Um, <laughs> yeah, to replace hashtag him. Harry Potter reference. <laughs> yeah, no, but he, um, <laughs> Fantastic <laughs> Beasts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to make a subtle reference that he's gay as well. <laughs> I not, say, not saying it's bad that Dumbledore is gay. I actually appreciate that, hey, they're trying to make but diversity. But they, they already said he was gay. Like, but don't make it for it's diversity. In the books, it's, it's in the books. Yeah, it, exactly. Like, even whoever wrote him, I can't remember now, just fucked it. J.K. Yeah. Rowling. J.K. Rowling, yeah. She just, um, yeah. But don't, she, but don't make it, like, blatantly gay. You know what I mean? I, I just hope just that... You know, I'm fine with people, like, gay people, but just, like, don't be a no, 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 about it, I don't, you know? I don't, mean it, I yeah. don't mean it in the way of, like, I don't shove it in my face. I want, like, gay movies like Philadelphia, you know? Where the homosexual uh, dies. Have, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the homosexual always dies in every movie. I'm kidding. I don't, we have I don't, to go see Love, Simon. It's that one. Um, Is that the that, one where the boy the, fucks the man and it's like, well, that's a different movie. That's um, that's a porno you watched. That's a porno you watched. No, what's that, that was your uncle. No, what's that <laughs> it's called? It's like Call Me By Your Name or something. I don't know. Check Me Daddy? No, it's a porno. But anyway, oh, yeah. Love Simon. I don't think it's in cinemas anymore. No, it's about, um, X, it's about the boy, and he's like finding out that he's like, yeah, likes other guys and stuff, yeah. and just acceptance and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah, like I don't give a shit if you're gay. Just don't push it. Just don't push it on me. Honestly, just, as long as people don't fucking sit there and push it in my face. For the right cool. price. <laughs> We're all um, a little gay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, John Favreau is doing a Star Wars series. Okay. Uh, Where's it set again? Pod it's going to be set in between like three. And four, that's but right. it's going to have nothing to do with like the actual Star Wars, like yeah. that we've seen in the movie. It's going to be well, like this weird, like separate that's... underground thing, and yeah. that's what I think they need to focus on. Yeah, building the world rather than trying to focus on this little period of time. Yeah, they keep wasting time or on or like that. fuck yeah. with ideas and that people already have about that time when they're trying yeah. to say something different. And the the Empire and the Rebellion yeah. is going to be like uh, two different things. Um, what that is another thing that actually is that apparently. Um, there's going to be another set of movie storylines about Knights of the Old Republic. Oh, really? That's what it says in the chat, yeah. Yeah, yeah oh, that's, I got okay. the chat I love the, well. ac- the, the activity on the chat tonight. It's really good. Yeah, no, that's, yeah. Um, that's really good. Um, I didn't know that. I'm, I'm actually excited well, thank, now well, thank because the chat, thank the chat Knights of the um, yeah. Old Republic is fucking huge, really. What was the game that they did out? That Was that any good? Knights like, of the Old Republic. Yeah. Great. Yeah, because I've got, I've got it on iPhone. I want to finish it. Yeah. Oh, did it come out on iPhone? Yeah, it oh, came right. out on iPhone. 13, See, I played bu- the, 13 I, bucks. I played it back on, on iPhone. Was it Xbox? Yeah, Xbox is when I yeah. first played it. I'm just like, really good game. Just I liked any Star Wars movie. I played Jedi Academy, Jedi Academy 2, uh, Outcast, Outcast 2. Yeah. Yeah, and then we jumped across to the Old Republics and yeah. stuff like that. And I, feel, then, I feel like I got swindled. The only Star Wars games I ever played was the Lego oh. Star Wars games, which I loved. Yeah, but then I played I Force them. Unleashed 1 and 2. Oh, really? <laughs> See, Force Unleashed I didn't get into. I didn't, I don't know, I just, I liked it. I just, I just didn't fall into See, it. See, I think I loved it because I also was playing the God of War games. Yeah, see, And yeah. they're very similar see, yeah. in gameplay-wise of, like, you have a weapon, you fling it around, and you kill as many things in the room as possible. We had this one game on PlayStation 1, which we still have, and it's called Star Wars Demolition, right? And it's, like, um, pretty much like Destruction Derby, but with Star Wars vehicles. What? Yeah, it is fucking, <laughs> sick. fucking so you, sick. So you can, like, you fly, like, you're on, like, say you're on um, Moss Island, yeah, Moss Eisley would be like zooming around the map and you're trying to destroy each other and shit. So yeah. you have like power ups to blow each other up and stuff. It's kind of Mario Kartish as well. Yeah. And that be yeah, it. So like you go along and you go over like a, it's like a jump. So you like get some super speed up, go over this jump, and then you'll like get like go through a bubble and it'll be like the um Boba Fett fucking slave. 
Your yeah. slave one, the fucking, and you get that so you can go around like blow all the other ones up, fly around, be like fucking do 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 do. It was really good. What a crazy game! It was fucking. Oh God, it really was really good. Game. And then um played. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> what a crazy game! Yeah, sounds fucking sick. It's fucking. It's fucking <laughs> awesome. Like Demolition oh, Derby. Did, did you play it as well? <laughs> yeah. Did you play it as well? No, she was fucking things like like I don't know, she was yeah. like mimicking me or something. Uh, <laughs> mimicking. Yeah, but no, making a Mickey out of me. <laughs> making a Mickey. Mickey yeah. Majaj. But, but really good game. Really enjoyed it. And then um. Played also the Phantom Menace game on PlayStation. I one. love man ass. <laughs> mean ass, man. Phantom you man ass. Fa- <laughs> Ghost ass. Shooting in that. Phantom Sorry. Menace. Yeah. I love man ass. Yeah, we we played a lot of Star Wars games and stuff. But yeah, um, yeah, the Star Wars. It was just called Star Wars: The Phantom Menace. Yeah. And, that, and really hard game. It starts off. Um, you play as AB1 when you get dropped down onto Naboo and stuff like that. So you got to do all that. Oh, you start off in the Trade Federation ship, don't you? Yeah, you start off the Trade Federation. That's like a tutorial, I've isn't recently, it? I've recently seen the gameplay of this, yeah. and I thought, like, how the fuck did I miss this? Yeah, this game it is really fucking hard. You end up down on Naboo, and to get from, like, to get down to the Gungans and shit, you've got to actually, like, because they put, like, bosses in and stuff like that, and this one boss you've got to kill is, like, this giant fucking grub, literally. You gotta get this grub, kill, the, kill the grub. I remember that in the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's not there at all. Oh, big gooba fish. Yeah, oh. there's always a bigger fish. Oh, oh that, that whatever was there's it? There's always a bigger fish. There's always yeah. a bigger fish. But yeah, no, like play <laughs> play that, and then um, I I finished the whole game on that one. You end up in Naboo and stuff like that, and you go and you end up in Tatooine and shit like that. So yeah. it's it's actually a pretty good game for back in the time. The graphics are completely shit now. Like yeah. even then they weren't the best graphics. I was like, there's a lot better games out with better graphics, but because <laughs> the game was so. Such a big game, they actually had to cut the graphics like way down. Yeah, that's See, always my, a drop back then. Like, yeah, that was and that, a... you know, PlayStation One. Like, <laughs> See, my experience with like Star Wars CDs. games is a, is yeah. like the Lego the Lego Star Wars. I always loved them. The very oh, first so Lego perfect. games that came out, they were so, they were the jam, man. Yeah, man. They're they're on iPhone as well. I think the first Lego game I got was uh, number two, the. Um, Original. Lego Star Wars 2, the original yeah. trilogy. Yeah. And I yeah. loved the shit out of that. And then I got I played like the um the first one yeah. with the prequels and I was like, this is terrible. I hate this. Oh really? Nah, this see, te- I, I did not see, like I, I, played, one. I played the first one and then the second one. And I was like, I want the first ones like because the 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 first one had a couple of mechanics, the second one didn't, but the second one had better mechanics than what the first one did. So I was like, I want both of them together. And then all of a sudden, like it was like in my head, I thought it to yeah, they brought the complete t- saga. Tasha's stuck out there, like, yep, fucking games. No, <laughs> I was poor growing up. No, I didn't play any games. You, you could have, you could have had like two rocks and been like, this is R two D two and this is Luke. Then they're yeah. going to, and they're going into the desert. And you just throw them into the fucking <laughs> dust paddock of <laughs> Lord Mower. And then I go <laughs> find them. I can't. Oh, the Death Star's hit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't find them. I'm like, oh, fucking Sand Raiders stole my droids. <laughs> 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 fucking Tusken Raiders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and stole my droids. Oh well. <laughs> yeah. I'll just get new ones. From the, These uh, aren't the droids you're looking for. These aren't the droids you're looking <laughs> yeah. for. Um, but I wanted to reference what we're still talking about in Naboo was <laughs> the post you made on your story today. Or whenever it was, it's just like there's always a bigger fish. Yeah, and it was, yeah. it's like when you when your mum's rousing you and she's when your to mum's yell. about to beat your ass, but then dad comes home and beats her instead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's what always a bigger so fish. Good. It was it's so good. so hilarious. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Throwback Thursday. <laughs> yeah. Childhood, eh? <laughs> was that some Classic. nostalgia for you too? No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Throwback Thursday, flashback Friday. Quite, you didn't need Star Wars toy. You already had the soap opera in front. <laughs> That's what I know I did. My life's always been a soap opera man. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, anyway, <laughs> cantina music playing so, in yeah, the background. Um, yeah, and so I, I kind of just willed. I kind of just willed into existence the entire saga in Lego form. Yeah, that, that's because of me. You can you can thank you me personally. Um, but yeah, I, I played the shit out of that game. I just liked any Lego games. I just love all the Lego games. Oh yeah, I'm so got, excited for D- Lego DC Villains. The, the Pirates That's of the, Car- the next DC game to come out. I played the oh, Pirates so of the Caribbean sad. Lego. I hated I, that. I fucking loved it. I hated I it. I love that one. I was like, this is really fun. Like, it's a really just fun take. I just like the little things they do with the Lego. Like, they don't talk or anything. They just do stupid actions and shit. Mm. I just liked it. But no, I really enjoyed the Pirates of the Caribbean one. Nah, a- see, I, I hated the Pirates of the Caribbean one. Oh really? Yeah, I, I played it right, and I, I didn't even finish it. I think the only solution is a fist fight. All right, you bend over, I fist you first. Yeah, all right, cool. <laughs> Yay. Oh, I didn't put up much of a <laughs> yeah, fucking fight, Just ben. gave up. We can see who the clear winner is here. My yeah. asshole never gives up a fight. 
It's going to give up tonight, bitch. Okay. I got like a, for my topic, I got another round of like hypothetical situations. Oh, I kind of like scrolling sick. through it. We can talk about it. Oh, sick. Right. We get to all done. Do we want to? Do you want to go across to that? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm okay. I feel like when we need I, to when I was a kid, I always. No, when we're done, we got like an hour left. When I was a kid, I used to always we'll think probably about end up dragging it out. We're really good at dragging things out. When I was a kid, I used to always think about <laughs> like, like situations children. of like. I was gonna say like my step. No. <laughs> 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 but um, I always used to think when I was a kid like, oh maybe you know I could get like powers, you know, hyper- hypothetical situations. Sort oh of man, like all that. the time I'd always. Yeah, think about that stuff. I'm just like God. I, I wish I, I could fly. Yeah. yeah, I, I was, thought I was earthbender. Waterbender. Air bender. I'd be in the pool like splashing water and like I'm a waterbender. Hold on, hold on. Earth. Water. Air. Fire. Oh, oh. Holy shit, really? Really? Fucking rocking. I think we're getting tattoos. Oh my god, I think, yeah. we're I think we just found tattoos. our next yes. tattoos. <laughs> yes. Actually, we just found our next tattoos. Quack. Quack. Is that my one? No, Quack. you're fine. <laughs> no, I'd, if you fuck with it too much, I thought we were changing my. No, we were, we were putting hands we're in the middle. We're, we're quacking, quacking it. it. We're like yeah. tattoo and airbenders yeah. and shit. Quack. Yeah, Your arms are like. That's actually so fucking funny that we all thought we were different types of people. Yeah. No, I like the idea of like throwing earth around and shit. I was like, yeah. be- because it was like sort of inspired by like Magneto and that. I really oh, love Mag- yeah. Magneto. Like, and you would have watched Toph as she was the first metal bender and being like, shit, that's fucking Bad awesome. Bad bitch. Yeah, I need to rewatch all the show, but yeah. I have it on DVD. The, the biggest, the biggest memory I have is when Zuko. Where'd you fortune? Is, daddy. Yeah, Zuko. Yeah, yeah, when Daddy is, they end up in the Earth Kingdom, and he goes down to have that date with that girl from the tea shop that yeah. comes in. Yeah. Anyway, he comes down. He's like, it's hard to explain, and just as that happens, Ethan walks in and goes. I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> I and your house that. won't let me forget it. Yeah, it was yeah, just yeah. fucking great. Every every time I watch that episode, it comes I up. Can't, like, I just I can't, I can't explain, explain it. Why not, Zuko? Like, I'm gay. gay. <laughs> <laughs> he said it just that fucking perfect moment. Uh, my timing. Stuck yeah, in my it's head. good and it's bad. He used to come up to get dim sums. Yeah, oh man, I love coming uh, yeah, up to dim sums. Fucking, we always had dim sums. Such a cheap little shit. On, yeah, Poor. just Avatar Day, it was just like, you'd roll up, we just had dim sums. It's yeah. fucking great. Fridge is always empty at mine. <laughs> Full of horse feed. Hit, hit us with a hypothetical, Ethan. Oh, mm. shit. Yeah, all right. Uh, what do you think we'd be doing? I'll read the question with word. Yeah. What if I had women be, in my what, life? Uh, I'll put we. What would we be doing now, like in, in time, mm. as a society or us individuals, if the internet and social media hadn't been invented? Like, I'd where be, would we be? I'd be, be killing what Nazis. What would we be doing? I feel like I'd be better <laughs> off. <laughs> I, th- I feel like I'd a be a lot a- of my problems start with social media because you let them get to you. Yeah, it's not real shit. It's I know it's crap. not real, but my mind makes it real. You should stop and that's the that. problem with anxiety just is Shut just the like fuck up with your anti fucking mil- mental illness attitude. No, I believe then. there is people out there with mental illnesses. I'm just I don't but think- when people say I have a mental illness, you're like. Is the doctor no, proven it? <laughs> no, I want a doctor proof. I want like, is the doctor proven it? Is but like, I, I yeah, have had doctor proof. Yeah, you did. Yeah, no, I remember that. I went to anyway. a psychiatrist. Anyway, uh, anyway, well, where would we be? I would be rocking it down at the fucking arcade, playing Gallagher, smashing it out at level hundred. I reckon. Mm-hmm. I reckon that's where I would be if there's no social media or internet. You'd just oh, be focusing. I'd be, fu- on, I'd be a fucking proper on. arcade nope. gamer. No yeah. internet, no government surveillance. I'm getting high at Coachella. No, you're having scented candles. I'm getting high at home and fucking <laughs> just write into my pen pals because I don't want to talk to people in real life, but I don't have, like, Ooh. internet. <laughs> I reckon you'd be at should... gigs. I reckon you'd be at gigs. Oh, I'd be at You'd gigs. be at, like, Woodstock. Yeah. Be, yeah. Like, we could go to Woodstock oh together. I'm not oh. saying we're time oh. traveling. Oh. So I'm not saying we're No, time... but that would be no, hypothetically. Wood... I mean, like, like now. Yeah, but they'll just still be Woodstock it? because they wouldn't have ruined it with all these fucking stupid laws. Yeah. Oh, true. Yeah. Mm. And people be able to have their fucking cigarette lighters and fucking mm. beer bottles to throw at the stage when yeah, it went shit. And gigs, oh my god, they yeah. would have just a, like have... live stream it. You'd have to be like you'd in actually the scene have to be to there. Know. Yeah, and yeah, yeah and, be every, oh, and you could drive around in car. Well, I don't know if they'd still have that, but you never know. You might be able to drive around in cars and not have to fucking worry about all these stupid laws like seatbelts and shit. Because people are actually oh, they, paying attention they, they to the road. Exactly. Yeah, brain. because people would be paying attention. That's exactly it. They wouldn't be on their phone all the time. Yeah, well, you look at the fucking 80s. How many people survived back then? My uncle fucking... Mm. My uncle got hit by a car doing 100, and he was doing 100, and he just went through the windscreen and fucking tumbled up the road and got up. <laughs> I think that's just your family. We're, we're yeah, your fun. family's <laughs> just lucky. No one, not like a lot of other people need seatbelts. Yeah. Your family doesn't need seatbelts. Supposedly my uncle got your drunk in Canada. Your family just needs a four-leaf clover, and that's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my uncle got drunk in Canada. This is a fun, this is a good fun family story. He got drunk in Canada and like jumped in the back of some guy's pickup truck, mm. fell asleep, and then they're fucking hammering around the mountainside and this fucking thing doing dur- like donuts and shit everywhere and stuff. And the so cops you just were, doing durries. Yeah, doing durries. They were doing durries too, but they fucking 
doing donuts and shit. And the cops pulled him over and stuff. And the cops pulled him over. They took, pulled these two blokes out of the front seat. And then Alex fucking said he woke up in the back and just fucking stood up and went, where the fuck am I? And the cop went, holy fuck, there's a guy in the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. What? Is it? Yeah, it's about 20 kilometers from All the right. party you fucking was at. So I need us to remember, that's how we're going to react whenever we get pulled over in the van. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, there's holy, a guy. Holy fuck, yeah. there's a guy in the Tash back. Tash is in the back. Yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> holy shit. What? Yeah. Yeah, but no. I no, I, I honestly person, feel like yeah. it would still be like the 80s because that was like kind of the pinnacle before internet and everything came in because then everyone became so focused on social, like just social interaction over the internet. Mm. I feel like that's where we would be at. In the dot-com boom and all that sort yeah, of shit. Yeah, because that's when it did boom is in the 80s. Like, and then computers became so fucking high tech, went from the DOS system across to all these other systems. I so Windows. Don't drown. Oh, it sounds like the usual thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Women, am I right? Don't step into Women. a gig on your way I get out. It. I have like a woman's bladder too. I get it. I'm always peeing. <laughs> yeah, but no, like I honestly feel like that's where we'd still be at because the internet wouldn't have... People, you know, like on the internet, everyone's just like kind of segregated into these groups of people now. Like, yeah. you know, echo chamber yeah, of pretty, pretty much. yelling at each other. Yeah, and that's that it. And then, then we hear about shit that's going on in America and America hears about shit that's going on in Australia or fucking anywhere else. But it wouldn't be like that. We'd know more about our local... Wouldn't, yeah, we'd know more about our local area and stuff, and people would be more trusting of the local people, so you'd have that same thing. Like, back in the 80s, yeah, people used to roll around with no seatbelts, or you'd go down the pub and have a few fucking drinks and drive home. So I think it'd be a lot less strict because people would actually be concentrating on what they're doing. Yeah. Like, yeah. really, when you think about it. But I, I, I honestly hope that's what it would be like. Yeah, hopefully. Because it would be fucking rocking. I could live that. I was thinking we'd host a radio but, show. Yeah, well, we probably could. It'd be really interesting. The four of us would run a radio show. That'd be pretty fun. Set up an aerial on top. Yeah, like a backyard. Oh, yeah, gorilla. Not gorilla warfare. I mean, um, <laughs> gorilla pirate, warfare. Pirate, 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 this Germans radio, are coming off the hill. A pirate radio station, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. That'd be all right. Tune in to 97.3 FM radio, 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 where Why you we, can get your tunes on? live, live, What's live. Going? Why are we loading? It's got oh, my fine shit. Okay, so our stream is still there. Anyone that's on there, can they tell us if the stream's still live? Hello. 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 Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello, good child. Help oh, me. God. Hello, welcome to 97.3 FM. You're going live, live with this cat, cat set radio. Why do you sound like radio. a like, smashed drug addict? Yeah, okay. We're still good. We're still We're good. Still good. <laughs> our side lucky. Beauty. And that, but yeah, so, no, I just feel like, like the world would, I don't know. Be more fun. It won't be so fucking in each other's faces. You know? Yeah. It, I reckon it would just be, a lot, more it'd be a lot more relaxed. And that, and the best thing is, is I could actually go out and meet fucking chicks that would want to fucking talk. Because back then they weren't so fucking flaky. Oh, I'm sure they were flaky. They no, just no, didn't no. have caught, a phone to hide him. behind. No, but they like went to pubs and shit. My uncle was just like, used to go to pubs and they were fucking rocking. He's like, that's in the 80s and there's chicks everywhere. Now yeah, they're all clubbing he's like, he's and like, shit. I know, it's because disgusting. He's like, like he used to get drunk and go back to their place and smash them and then leave. <laughs> I was like, that's great. Uh, uncles. <laughs> Thanks, uncle. Uh, STDs. I wish that was my life. Yeah, you wouldn't <laughs> be so worried about having STDs all the time. Yeah, because be, you just, wouldn't medically be able to properly sell it yeah, you, soon enough. You'd be like, oh, what's this? Oh, well. We would have one already. <laughs> yeah, you'd be like, I'm born with one. It's the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my mum had AIDS when, she was born, when wait, I was born with Have you seen that thing? It's like yeah, Freddie, Freddie Mercury disease. Where it's like <laughs> the 80s in one picture, and it's like kid blowing candles over a fucking ashtray while dad's there, like in the background drinking. Yeah, that picture. It's like, yeah. yeah, that's my fucking 80s. Yeah, that's my nineties. The cake, that's, that's, my, that's just my life still. Yeah, yeah, epitome of. It's it's not a birthday without some ash in the cake. Yeah, mm. <laughs> stupid Arnie just blowing her ash on shit. Oh, gee, Rick. Oh, oh, yeah. I was gonna say that's you just blowing your dad away. <laughs> just like, to dip the cake in my dad's <laughs> ashes. Yeah, so my friend, these sprinkles are is blowing um, in the wind. But yeah, um, no, I said that we'd be hosting a radio show. A radio or, show. We'd, if I we'd host a radio show, all of us. Yeah, if it was we like, could. I reckon it'd be fun. Of a podcast. I could just play like local music. Oh, that'd be yeah. epic. Because I know so much local music. And you'd yeah. easily get permission. You'd be like, yeah. hey, man, you'd be, yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 That'd be fucking sick. Yeah, yeah right. We could yeah. still do right. that. It's planned. <laughs> it's planned, Stan. But anyway, I like, yeah, that's a good fun. fun one. Yeah, what about you, Ben? What do you reckon it'd be like? Oh, I think I talked about it before. It'd be like, because like, um, there wouldn't be so much government surveillance. You'd feel a little bit easier doing a bit of the like drugs and shit like that. So just a bit more blues. Yeah. Like, you like wouldn't feel so. Yeah, yeah, I feel like we all feel the, the 80s as like the pinnacle 70s, of what the it 70s be. and the 80s. Mm. Like, like, I always felt like if I could grow up in a different time period, it'd be the 70s because I feel like I feel like I'd fit in there. I like, feel like the just, 80s would just be me. 
Yeah. Yep. We would have done so fucking well. Oh, we would have we fucking rocked it. We would have partied <sighs> the me and Bryce specifically. We would have partied the fuck out. <laughs> I would have loved it. I okay. just, yeah, I just I want to go like to a fucking are. gig where we can everyone just holds up their fucking lighters and has a beer in their hand. I honestly, that's what I just want. Mm. Can I not have a fucking bottle and have a lighter at the same time? Mm. Like, there's only there's only one there's only one problem with that era, and it's that pedophiles had it easier. Oh yeah, but man, that, yeah. they'd thrive. Yeah, my uncle. Yeah. They, I sprayed just. That. <laughs> but no, yeah, that's yeah. Bryce's <laughs> uncle, man. That was, <laughs> a, that was the nineties. He wasn't a oh, oh, 90s. Oh, yeah. 90s, 90s. yeah. Oh, I do have to step back though on the eighties like thing, right? So there's this photo of my mum back in the 80s and everyone back then, the most most women back then actually wore like shoulder pads in their oh, shirts. So they had like the puffy <laughs> shoulders and there's this photo of my mum and dad. My dad's got like this dirty fucking moustache, <laughs> this Canadian, one of those ugly jumpers what we call nowadays. Yeah. And that, but it's like black and white and it's like the white bit's got just like, it looks like snow and then the, like the black's got like deer outlines and stuff yeah. like that. And he's yeah. got this long hair I and then there's my mum with these, yeah, my mum with this like, Fucking red lipstick, curly hair, fucking oh. jacked up, puffy fucking shoulder things. Oh. It just looks fucking hilarious. I'm just like, that, that's the 80s. And, Mullet. Oh, my uncle has this photo of him They're and his They're still mate. allegedly cool in socioeconomic areas. Yeah. <laughs> Woodridge? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> Tambourine? Just I, know this guy, I know this guy, name drop, called Benny. And that Benny Richter, I'm... He's one of my mate's um, brothers <laughs> and that. Drop. And he, he just has this rocking fucking mullet. It looks like he's just being dragged out of the eighties. Yeah, he I just, like, oh, he looks. You got to do it properly. He does it properly. Right, it I looks don't. proper, but it's like this blonde mullet. It's just fucking. I don't like those ones where it looks like it's um, a just an extensions clip. Yeah, I no, hate those ones. I no, like no, the ones his, where it blends all his through. Is like, and it's his like, is like his hair's so fine that like puffs up. Business yeah, and that's the front. His, oh, it's yeah, the back. Like the ones yeah, that look oh. like it's been slicked to the yeah. sides, but it's actually been cut really short. Yeah. Like, I like those ones. Yeah, he's just got this fucking rocking mullet. Like, yeah. he's the one guy I got like just... I I'm not a big fan of mullets, but if you're going to do a mullet... Do it right. Yeah. Do it right. Oh, he does just this one right, yeah. Don't you have... do it, but if you really are going to do it, yeah. do it right. If but you do it, you have to look it. like Sting from the police. Ugh. I'll be watching you. <laughs> don't yeah. stand so don't, don't, close don't, me. Don't sing that while being outside someone's door. Oh, I'll do it all the time. You. Do it all the time. All day, every day. Um, <laughs> all day. <laughs> Sipping on blue milk. Have we got another hypothetical? Oh, I mean, I could hear some. Yeah, man, let's hypothetical the next one. This is like a bit deep, this one. Oh, okay. This could I be like things that get deep. If you could go back in time or go back to a time when you were bullied, what non-violent way would you handle the situation knowing oh, what you know no, now? No, I'm sorry. Whip Everything my dick out. in violence. <laughs> But what would be a non-violent way? Whip my dick out. I don't feel like that would be a non-violent way of ending a lot of my But like, my it'd be funny, there's this like little wimpy version of you, and you're just like, you little fucking pussy. Yeah. You just yeah. help him. You just help him. <laughs> I fucking hate you. You're going to learn <laughs> no, from this. No, but like, you can just like, pick him up, out. and there's like this 23, 23, 24 year old just like grabbing kids. Like, grabbing kids, like, you fucking assholes. <laughs> like, turns out they're infants. I reckon I would tell someone outside of school because. At school, all they do is just give yeah. the kid a detention and it doesn't fucking work. does nothing. Yeah, I'd like tell my family and like. Sometimes it depends on the time. I don't know because yeah. like it would be like ah, oh, kids just being kids. And yeah, then, like, well, there's not much you can do to really like punish like a fucking young kid that's bullying. Actually, oh, actually, I don't know. Actually, if you, you know if, what? Yeah, but, you know like, what? That, that actually work. that would actually work <laughs> with me because that actually did happen. Yeah. Uh, at high school, you came my back mom, in time too. No, no, my mum called the school, yeah. ended up making one of our teachers cry. Yeah, my dad did that to the principal. The devil's going to get you. <laughs> no, seriously, like, made her cry. <laughs> like It was just like, geez, I didn't know my mom had it. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. My mom felt guilty afterwards. I was like, no, 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 no. You, there's good thing. You good can't thing. take this back. You can't take this back. Wait, so the teacher was bullying you? Oh, uh, yeah. it's a long story. Not for not for cameras, but yeah. it's, it's yeah, okay. a long story. No, yeah, my my dad was always an advocate of like words don't always work. So I was just taught fists and everything. Yeah, that was my, actually it. My, my dad was like, yeah, try and talk your way out of it. But if it, it comes to work. fists, like mom, know how to. Mom was mom was just, yeah. what I was taught is never throw the first punch. It's only if they go to punch you, are you allowed to beat yeah. the shit out of them? Yeah. And I was like, that's fair. Yeah. And I was taught that at four, so it's just kind of like yeah, yeah like so, they sort of did that. So yeah. I don't know. See, like as I was growing up, especially going to Bay Desert, rough school, especially mm. when I was there. Yeah. You know, it was just like school, like bro, like, but, uh, you never no, got, but you never got in trouble. Mm. You'd like beat the shit out of some kid and they're like, they wouldn't even like give you a detention. They're like, well, did he deserve it? And you're like, yes. And they're like, yeah, no, it's fair. He was a little shit. <laughs> yeah. He was being a yeah. nerd. And, the parent, and then and the teachers were just like, yeah, no, a lot of these deserve it. So they just let you do it just so the kid would get the shit beaten out of them because they hated well, that the fucking place. kid too. So yeah. 
So I feel like, I don't know, there's a lot of situations that you probably couldn't use words was to I, end. I remember... Like, please don't beat the fuck out of me, sir. <laughs> Mr. Please. Please don't. Please, sir. Please, dear like, eth- don't dear do ethnic it. person, please don't beat the shit out of me. Yeah, so that... Well, you say ethnic kids only beat up white kids? Well, yes. Yeah, that's Jeez, a bit... That's white wild. kids can beat up white kids yeah, too, I'm gonna you know? Yeah, I going to say, there's a lot of... No, there's no a lot I always of, got beat up by but, the ethnic um, kids. Really? Yeah. Oh, no, I, remember, like, I never did. Mum used to try and teach her self defense and stuff like that. And then, like. I was doing the beating up with the ethnic kids. That's <laughs> because in primary school, I went I went to a primary school. There was Sorry. a whole bunch of uh, New Zealanders. Oh, okay. No, and I they, gr- they beat the shit out of me. I grew, I grew up with uh, natives. Okay. Yeah. My school just had, like, a lot of Asians. And, like, they just didn't really get in each other's way. Really? We didn't really they do much. Ha- ha- Newcastle? Ha- I don't know where the fuck. Coughs? Coffs Harbour. Yeah, okay. I was thinking yeah. it's down there somewhere. Oh, much. My primary school actually was pretty just like, it was, we, I went to a very small primary school. Like there was 80 kids in the whole school. Oh, yeah. wow. So there was like. Real country. Yeah, it was real country. So like that was like fine. Primary school was fine. But like when I went to high school in Brisbane, it's fucking diverse. as like 800 kids. Mean? I don't remember doing <laughs> like that. Like 10 times. Oh, wow. I don't like, for some reason I don't remember any like, like any, I just remember it was people. Like I don't remember any ethnic thing. And, like, the most probably, like, there was, like, this one black kid we had at our Catholic school from yeah. grade five to seven. Yeah. This one black kid. And I was yeah. just like, oh, okay, cool. And there was, like, Asian kids and stuff. But well, like, like Kedron is known for, like, having, we have a great, like, hearing aid and we have, like, great multicultural thing. Yeah. Like, we have a really good um, English second language sort of unit. Yeah. So for kids that, like, don't know English, we have really, like, so we had a lot of, like, Asians and foreign people that, like... Could hadn't help out. grown up in Australia and yeah. had come to Australia recently. I just think our priest was racist. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah no, he probably I mean, handpicked all the kids chance. that went to our school. We just um, no, I just grew up with primary school. I just grew up with um the Aboriginals and yeah, whites as farming community. Yeah, yeah. And, and then that, we went to Tambourine, and then it was just white. Like she was such a racist. Oh, she was such a racist. <laughs> yeah, she was a proper racist, which actually pissed me. Off. I don't know, like growing up. I only grew up with like, yeah, based, yeah, well, there was no Asians and stuff when I was in primary school or anything. So growing up, I just had the Aboriginals and, and the, and, you know, Europeans or oh, white Australians, kids. yeah, white Australian people, white yeah. kids. And that, so it was just like, I don't know, you just accepted that. And then yeah. when I went up to the, up the mountain and stuff, like we had, um, you had Kimiko and stuff like that, and she was, um, Asian and stuff. And, mm. and that, and I, I didn't even think anything different of it. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't think, because I was just like, oh, I just grew up with different colored people anyway. I didn't yeah. even think it. But you didn't. I didn't ever think of that. It wasn't until I actually got to like I think grade ten when people were like, "Oh, this and that and this and that." I'm sitting there thinking like, I never even fucking thought of him like yeah, that. Well, I, like, thought, I just thought you were a person. Friend, they were just my friends. Like I have yeah. a friend Jamal who plays for footy now and stuff like that, and he was one of my good friends. Yeah. In primary school, and he was Aboriginal. I didn't see well, him I any differently. Co- I was like, just like in the country, like you just there's so few people you're just friends with everyone. Well, that and was you're it. Friends well, with their family. Well, you're Bo- friends with their family's family. Bo Desert. It was two hours out from Bo Desert everywhere. Yeah. Kids went to school there, so yeah. it's like. There could be kids from out freaking Warwick coming there. So it's yeah. just like everyone's country kids and everyone just got along. Like yeah. your closest neighbor was fucking three kilometers away. Like, I yeah. noticed that when like <laughs> moving to the city because you get people that have like never, ever had to talk to anyone that isn't white. And yeah. they're like, oh my God, like how do we talk, be friends with that person? I'm like, what do you mean? They're you just, just talk to them. It's yeah. a fucking, fucking person. They're the same, same fucking person. You. Like they have some cool interests. Like, like just because you've I remember a lot of the, this... done the last 16 years without ever having to talk to one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I remember a lot of the stereotypes that I, I learned were through people telling me about it. Mm. Like someone would make a joke about some person that I'd say like, oh, there, there was this guy, I just happened, it like, you know, it, it would come up in the conversation like, oh, he just, you know, happens to be Indian or something like that. And, mm. just, and they're just like, oh, what did he have? Curry for lunch? Ha, ha, ha. It's like, yeah, <laughs> like I never like, what, what's, what, people what's tell me about the that? And then it's just like, like, oh, curry's from India. Or it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. And then, and then Shout like. Shout out to the curry queen. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. I found when I was growing up, Indian women really attractive. They're fucking Aria attractive women. Yeah. They are so attractive. Oh, she is hot as fuck. I'm not Aria, even going to lie. Aria yeah, is a beautiful... That's, that is, is not legal, so you're, you're not allowed to say that, but she's yeah. very beautiful. She is a very what? beautiful... She's over 16, isn't she? When she... She's Barely. 17. Yeah, she's 18 in a couple months. Yeah, that's it's it. Still, when still she, when she's, she's an attractive eight, woman. When she's 18, I'm going to walk up to her and be like, you're fucking hot. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. <laughs> like, leave. Just wanted to let you know. Yeah, she's a just hot in case girl. you didn't know. She's, oh. she's got that exotic flair. She's that's, me out. Yeah. Appreci- appreciation. I like my, I like uh, my exotic plugin. women. <laughs> Aria appreciation post. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag Aria. That was like my fucking last like Instagram. I was like... Here's a photo of us together. Here's a photo of us. Here's just a hot selfie of Aria yeah. that I thought I'd include. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, like, I don't know. Like, 
Yeah, I, I, I never. Just thought... got a, I got a notification. It's like, let Ari know if you're going to go to a party. I'm like, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I would. She, I'm yeah, because she invited she invited us on Facebook to the party tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, I, you I got, guys I got, got shafted hands. for Tim. That's fine. A I got my hands full. A Ben and an Ethan equal one Tim. We've both. No, yeah, Bryce just isn't allowed to go. A Ben and an Ethan Bryce equal is... one Tim. Tim's not worth that much. A Ben and an Ethan. A Ben and an Ethan equal one Tim. I'm a, I'm worth at least a half a Tim. See how Bryce isn't in this something. equation? I'm just not there. You're not worth. <laughs> I'm not worthy no, of like anything. If all I'm, three of us not, aren't even close. Like, no, no, no. It's, it's like you two. I wasn't even included in there. That's because I was only allowed to bring two people. I know. I didn't know you'd be here. I could always come. I can always come back up. Yeah, you could take Tim and Bryce. Yeah. I'll be a rocker. Yeah, Tim, Tim will just be like, I'm hanging out with Bryce all night. He's yeah. got some sadistic oh God, shit. He fucking likes you more than me, I swear to God. <laughs> you could like talk fetuses in the corner. Yeah, that's it. We talk some real dark stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I would have a great time. Tim picked the wrong one. Did you Sorry. stop hitting me? Jesus. You're like proper hitting him. She bashes me. Uh, you when deserve I put it. my glass down, I went like that. Shut up, white nudged boy. Him and he was like, don't hit me. So don't, so don't, don't, take my, it. don't let me rip my nail off in front of you. Oh, no. Ooh. No. Oh. No, oh, please no. do, do it. <laughs> you want to see a bend? Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh. So for people that have only just started tuning in, Ben has this... Nail phobia. Yeah, just... I have a phobia of nails being like, stop it! <laughs> <laughs> just, you'll make them chuck. It's, it's pretty I hate, funny. <laughs> I hate anything to do with, like, nails getting torn off. Like, what are you doing? Stop scratching me! <laughs> um, like, there's one particular scene in, like, uh, I think it's Supernatural Season 2? I want to say, where for a ritual, they have to rip one of their nails off. And it's, yeah, oh my God, that Death, death Stranding training. trailer. Uh, no, yeah, even that Apparently, we're not me. the only people who cringed at that, though. No, yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone like, was like, Ew. What's that one? There was, uh, I, was, I was Has listening Norman to... Reedus? I haven't seen it. It's, for, we'll it's from Hideo later. Kojima. I haven't we'll, seen we'll show it. you later. But basically, there's a scene in it where he's in the shower. He's got an infected nail and he, and he has to pull it, it off. Yeah, but that's that's me, Ben. That's fucking me. He I cut just, my leg open with a combat knife and poured whiskey on it. He just rips <laughs> off his toenail. <laughs> there's a... Oh. Graphic. There's a um there, there was a, a video I was watching. There was a guy who was explaining how he was doing an interview outside where the Death Stranding conference is on, and he's talking, and, and all of a sudden he hears the audience go, <laughs> found out it was because of the toenail. Uh, oh, that's juicy. Yeah, no, it's gross. I mean, like, I don't have, like, a phobia or anything, but I can understand that that's fucking gross no matter what. I think the German side of me just sounds like, yeah, that mm, sounds like fun off, torture. Rip off the toenail. <laughs> Ethan's sitting over here like, I'll do this. Anyway, next hypotheticals. Uh, this is another fun one. Like, uh, if you could give yourself advice seven days ago, what would it be? Seven oh, days ago, okay. Seven days Don't ago. Don't talk to the chick you're talking to, you fucking idiot, because it just doesn't work out. <laughs> and my advice would be to tell Bryce to l just make it happen so you learn from it. I did learn from it. Yeah, so it has to I learned that women use the exact same excuse three times. Three different women. Three different, three women. different women. Three different women. The exact same excuse. I've, I'm proud I've got three. What's the excuse? So that all the other women can know to use it again yeah, okay. in the future. That's exactly it. That's what we need to go for. So the excuse is, is, oh, I'm sorry. I'm just really busy at the moment at work. And I just feel like I'm not ready for a relationship or anything like that. And then my response is to it, well, why don't we just hang out and see where shit goes? And then they're like, oh, no, I feel like that'd be unfair on you. And that's, that's, that's it. I feel like it's because, I mean, you're you're talking to girls on Tinder. Yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah. guys, but I don't, those I don't, I don't, even, I, don't even, I don't even care about that. It's like let's just fucking hang out. I know out. they don't care. I know like, you don't just, care. Just fucking hang out. But like, yeah. I could like, like I just from a point of view, I just, wanna, smash. I just wanna fucking hang out with chicks and be like, let's go and do shit. Yeah. Because like, uh, we're gonna I have to know. take Bryce out to bars and clubs. That's so why I'm thinking he needs to go to the party with you tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. No, because they're all underage. Yeah, no, yeah, don't do that. I, no, don't, don't do that. that. Don't that's that's that. that. They're that. all underage. Don't do that. That's proper rape fest. You don't send they're me there. You're apart from Andrew then. Oh, I'm not taking Andrew. <laughs> no, he'll be in take. I don't want to look after him. You want to play video games? Wait, he's in, he's, he's in grade 10, isn't he? He's 16. No, yeah, he's too Yeah, no, he's the They're same. all like nearly 11 18. 11 is 16. No, he'll be fine. Uh, the, actually, they're probably not even underage because they they're all uni 16. Students. 16 is legal. My sister's in uni and she's only 17. Well, Ari is in uni and she's only 17. But anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, I lost my point. I lost my point. <laughs> and there no, would be no alcohol. But I can, but I can, I, I can em, like, to an extent, I can empathize with the women you're talking to on Tinder. Oh, because yeah. me personally, for some reason, I just, like, subconsciously hold this lower value 
to people I meet on Tinder. Like, mm. I'm just I like, I don't have Ugh. any low... But the thing I know is, you I don't, don't, but I... they do. They probably hold a low value to you for some reason. But why am I a fucking low value? I'm not... I because you met them online. I don't get Tinder it. Boy. I take them out. It's... On a nice day out, I pay for their fucking meal. We because talk you met all them fucking online. day. Ethan, Ethan, no, but, but if you get Ethan, along with Ethan, people, you just get along not, with people. It's not... It's terrifying It's not a lower, it's not a lower value. You. It's to do with yep. being nervous That's about something. It might not be like <laughs> to other people. Probably I'm just, nervous I'm just a yeah. nice guy. But to yeah. me, it's when a men yeah. I, I understand. You, I understand to you. To you, uh, you, might, you might not understand. I'm not saying it or mine's anything. painting everyone's brush. It's um, not my you fault. You might not understand it, but it's like some some girls might be just be might just be scared because unfortunately the environment that we live in today is that guys can be scary. Yeah. And thanks to the mainstream have, media, I know. I'm not a scary no, guy. I know, I know you're not a scary man. guy. No, men are not scary guys. There are men out there. yet. There are a lot of guys who ruin it for guys who. Are the nice guys? Well, I'm yeah, fucked. put it that way. I'm yeah. fucked for the rest and of my I mean, life. And that's a minority, though. Look at the statistics. It's a minority of assholes that go out there and rape women in parks and murder them. They ruin it for the rest of us. But yeah. the problem is, yeah, that, like, up. they can't take that chance because I know it. That's not you know, fair. There is it. There is that chance. Yes, and there that's, is. And that's that's the reality of that day is, and age the, now. No, and but, that's what's scary about it. It's thing just is, like Jesus. I'm going to go back on that technology thing. Everyone's so stuck behind their phones and stuff. They feel safe. But if you never take a risk in life, you're never going to experience half the shit you probably should. Mm. Like, I take fucking risks every day. Yeah. I've almost blown my hands I mean, up. I've probably almost blown myself up. And, yeah, I know. But that's what I mean. Like, I look at my life and it's like so full on. Like, the chick when I was talking to her, I have nothing against her. Like, not going to work out, not going to work out. Cool, you let me know. Thanks. But... Like, she's just like, wow, she's like, I'm telling her. She's like, oh, what kind of jobs have you done? I'm like, I was telling about the jobs. I like, oh, I worked at a pub and then I worked at a pool, like being a lifeguard. And then I worked the high ropes course and I was an engineer for a while. And then went, fuck this, because the boss was an arsehole and ended up in the plastics factory. And she's like, how old are you? I'm like 24. And she's like, wow, you've worked more. Oh, I was like, oh, when I was 13, I worked at a lumber. I used to split logs for money and shit. And then I used to, before that, I used to pick rosemary on a farm for fucking cash in hand when I was like eight. So it's just like, she's like, oh, wow. She's like, how many jobs, like, how old are you? I'm like 24. And she's like, you've done more jobs than my dad has ever done. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, because I grew up always fucking working. Like, yeah. but that's just the way it was and stuff. And then she's just like, oh, so what, 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 like, what's some of your crazy stories? And I'm like, oh, I'm like, do you even want to hear them? Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm going to be totally honest with you. I'm like, I just said, I'm going to be totally honest. And she's like, what do you mean? I said, some of them sound like completely fucking outrageously unbelievable i said but a lot of them are actually <laughs> fucking like they're actually all true yeah and i was telling about the bonfire and she's just like oh wow she's like how didn't you blow yourself up and i'm like i don't know and then i was just like told about when i blew my hands up the gunpowder and shit and stuff because she was into guns as well so talking about that and then yeah i was just telling about all these different things and she's just like and how are you not dead and i'm like i don't know but that's the thing is i took those risks yeah and i had fun and i look mm. back on it and i just fucking laugh at it i'm just yeah. like this is hilarious well from my point of view anyway but yeah, yeah i thought hilarious. of the joke i thought of a joke before when you said just get a, you just got to take risks you got to take risks and i thought it, on, i thought on the joke longer and i i still agree with myself that it's very inappropriate to share the joke no do it please no share it no, i'm going no. to yeah do it now right now i want to hear you know it. you just got to take risks you know you know just go to a public park <laughs> oh fuck yeah no. <laughs> you'll thank yourself later yeah you'll thank yourself later for you'll not be, saying it no, no, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you'll be like <laughs> That park remember. experience wasn't so bad. Yeah, and you're but, like, you know, see, I'd rather regret something I did than live my whole life thinking maybe because, I should have and regretting exactly, not doing it. That's it. No, but they, they look back on it though, like like that that was I don't know, like I used to do when I was on the Sunshine Coast and I date girls, like I would take them down. We, me and her, we'd go to the public park and we'd cook on the barbecue. Mm. It's like you're doing double whimmy. You're like, I'm taking a girl. I'm, feed, I'm feeding a girl. You, what did you? Not feed Not with her? apple juice. What did you feed her? Like pork chops and salad. And oh, stuff. I was gonna say you took lamb it, chops and stuff. I was gonna say he's taking her down for a barbecue and I would smash over a hot no, plate. No, I'm not in but... Melbourne. Um, no, but I <laughs> Melbourne. Don't need to be in Melbourne. That's where all the murders <laughs> happened recently. Right. But um, no, that's the joke. I said smash. I said smash. She's a comedian. She'll get it. Anyway, um, yeah. Well, she won't. She's dead. But um, <laughs> what I'm getting at is. <laughs> that like yeah. I like that the, these girls were taking huge risks. They'd come down to me to the park and we'd cook a cook for them. And I, I thought it was really nice and endearing. Like I'm I'm making them food and they can see me cook. And girls like girls, guys that oh, cook. Yeah, so like man. it was a double whammy. I was like, I'm really trying to sell myself. Mm. And um, it worked a few times. And they but they they took the risk and yeah. But that's it. Like you got you got to take the risk to get there. And my risk. Well, but eventually, it don't work out. But you know, it always happens. You're yeah. young. You're gonna date millions of women. Not yeah. millions. Million. But, but at least well, two if, STIs. But at least two. Yeah, I've had like two now. That's you. That's I've zero, had zero. Man, I've no. had fucking zero. I've had zero. Yeah, we're on the zero hey, boat. Hey, hey, 
wear them like badges I play, of honor. I play, I never paid the question. I, I was I was somewhere how else. Many badges, STIs have you gotten, Ben? Uh, none. They're oh, badges of experience. I'm over, over here. Look, AIDS is fun, all right, <laughs> guys. AIDS is great. Ben's Ask Mercury. A but um, <laughs> Ethan's a slut. Good old Freddy. Wow, that's actually a really nice thing. I've never yeah. heard that before. Ethan's, Ethan's a, a slut. slut. Thanks. You're a saluty ass bitch. <laughs> I've been called conservative too many times, but yeah, right, cool. I'm this is nice. Left. Conservative, my ass. You also see, been called. You walk out of your bedroom butt naked, and everyone like we all jump around the corner. To yeah, scare the fuck out of you. I don't think I can. I think you're more something. worried about than us because we're just used to it now. I feel yeah. like we're just used to seeing a little pecker. Yeah, you, you could walk out in the middle of the lounge room naked, and we wouldn't notice. Oh, the amount of times I thought about, it, I'm like, how would my friends react if I just walked out naked? <laughs> we wouldn't even worry. Like I've thought about. I just sort of be like. Great. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, that's I did, done. I didn't want that mental image. Where's the bottle of gym? I've seen it now. <laughs> Time I've anyway, seen it. Anyway, what's no, but, next? Yeah. No, I just have those thoughts. Like, it's not actual thoughts. But yeah. you, know, you, you ever have those, like, weird thoughts? It's like, like one of those Pokemon yeah. Go badges yeah. that comes up. You've seen Ethan's penis ten times. Like a little achievement <laughs> yeah. on the Xbox? Like, da ding Yeah, for yeah. sure. Five, five yeah. times but in you, a row. But yeah, you've got to take risks and stuff, I think, just to... Just to experience anything. And that's what annoys Educated me. Educated risks to an extent, and that, but I if, guess. But. Yeah, oh, yeah, it is. But like, you know, with Tinder, I don't just go meet some chick and then like I, I fucking go jump on the next day. I'm talking to her for like two, three weeks and shit like that. So you like, actually kind of get to know the person somewhat in a way. And you can kind of tell someone's a psychopath yeah. just the way they fucking type and yeah. talk. I think this is something that Ethan and I have discussed about before is that Ethan and I, were both not very good over Messenger. I fucking yeah. suck at messaging. Yeah. I'm great. We're very, very much better in person, like actually yeah. getting to yeah. talk to someone. Yeah. That's why like, I usually, usually if they say, oh, here's my phone number, I say to him, I said, oh, is I usually say to them, is it weird if, if we just talk on the phone? I say, because it's a lot easier. And, because then you can tell if they're more sincere or fucking psychotic because... Mm. You can, and they can yeah. see if you're psychotic. You it, and that's exactly and it. You can't, you can't premeditate and, what you respond with. But the thing is... It's yeah. like in an instant. See, and that's it's, what I struggle but, with. I yeah. hate being like in on the person. Phone? Well, like, yeah, or on the phone or in person. I struggle so much more because, like, my thoughts are so like jumbled and that like if someone asks me a question and they want a serious answer I have to think about it and collect my thoughts yeah. and put it in a nice concise like I, I understand make that sense. point yeah I understand but like it. even with just simple questions I'm like I don't feel uh, uh. Zoe is uh, so hard to like pick a restaurant with yeah uh, women that's hey? why you say well, like, that's when you go to them you go oh what's what food do you enjoy eating yeah. And that and then they go, Oh this and that's where you fucking take them there. You don't you don't fucking contemplate it. They go, yeah. I like fucking chicken, so you're like, I'm gonna go to a chicken restaurant, that's fucked up the chicken. They're, they're actually so uh, that chicken. reminds yeah. me of that reminds me of something that um I, re I I remember reading like years ago about like if you ask a girl, don't ask her like where do you wanna eat, <laughs> ask her what what do you feel like eating? Do you feel like eating Italian? They don't know. This, or that, just, I like, don't know. Guess where I'm taking you, you and the yeah. first oh, guess ben, I wanna there. I wanna hear Ben finish. No, that oh the guess it was it was close uh, to that. that yeah yeah it's yeah. like it's like one of the first things that pops up that's what's in the front of their mind mm. guess where so we're that's gonna go what they're after a Maccas yep you got it babe <laughs> sixteen times in a row no, I saw a <laughs> meme and it was like doing that thing and it was like it better fucking not be Red Rooster they're like um like. Yeah, yep. it was Red Rooster. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first one you mentioned, so I guess I got a Red Rooster. Yeah, again. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Red Rooster is actually really good. I fucking love that shit. Me, no, you they're... and me, at least like once every fortnight. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Red Rooster chips go all right. Macca's chips, then Red Rooster chips. What about Brodies? You guys have had Brodies? Oh, oh, Brodies were so good. Oh, Man, thank I love Brodies. still around. You know, the one at Water uh, Waterford? There's one at Umbo Desert too now. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Brodies do the best fucking chips. There's a joke going called roadies. I've never heard of it. Because one time, um, so it's like a chicken joint. It's like an Australian chicken joint. That's fucking gross, Ethan. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm trying to creep him out. Yeah, but yeah, it's like, it's like a yeah Australian chicken joint and stuff. It's called Brody's. It's like usually like your, I don't know, servos and stuff like that. Yeah. Like you can run in there and grab some chips and stuff. But there's a joke going for a long time called roadies because someone got fucking chips once and it was on the news and they got chips once and it had fucking like a bunch of gravel in there. <laughs> and that's so it's called roadies. <laughs> <laughs> How do you accidentally get gravel in your <laughs> no, chips? I'm suspecting um, it's your last day. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm suspecting what happened is they got the chips out of the truck and then like dropped in the car park and then just kind of picked them up like the packet uh, and like some rocks got in there and then they complained. They've about. settled to the bottom and then they fucking ended up in there. Or, or you ask for a packet of chips and someone tells you to hit the road, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> You walk out there. Uh, My knuckles are bruised yeah. now. Uh, Fuck you. Blood's coming out. Fucking busting nuts. Yeah. Yeah, but no, yeah. So uh, yeah. Chips. 
Chips. Chips. Chips. Um, I was going to jump back. So anyway, the I was question say was, yeah, if you could give chips. yourself advice seven days ago, what would it be? I told you, go back and be like, fucking don't talk to that There's one. gravel in these chips. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you don't eat the for? chips of Brody's because there's gravel in them. I'd say to myself, expect the unexpected. <laughs> Because I got a rude surprise on Saturday. Ooh. You'll tell us offline, yeah? Mm. All right, cool. Rough. Um, another one. This is one for Ben, actually. Can Superman cut himself with his heat vision? Yeah. Yes, but it heals really quickly. Yeah. Uh, oh, he has healing. So power. what you're saying is like Yeah, Deadpool. so like the, because because he, it, the map pad, map pad on game theory explains it really well. It's because he is... Uh, t- like the science based off it is, is almost photosynthetic. He like he's very efficient in the way that he absorbs sunlight. Mm, so he's and, a fucking and plant. And so like, ba- yeah, kind of. <laughs> and his weakness is actually ionizing radiation rather than like cause, uh, the way that kryptonite works and all that sort of shit. But basically, to boil it down simply, yes, the heat vision at a hot enough temperature could burn through his skin. But once he turns it off, his skin would heal back because of the amount of energy stored in his body from the sun. Okay. That's very cool. Hmm. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. Could Superman kill himself? Yes. How? Snap his own neck. (laughs) Classic. (laughs) Classic. Classic. Fair enough. No, (laughs) No, but wouldn't he heal? Like, isn't he like a Deadpool healing thing? No, I don't think it's Deadpool healing thing. Uh, Deadpool just gets fucked up and can heal anything. It's, 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 he's still a biological creature. That's the way you got to think about it. Yeah, but so is Deadpool. The only difference... That's that's uh, a, no, that's no, a no. story from another day. That's Here's a story the, from uh, the another difference day. You were about to say. So Here's the difference. Sorry. The thing. The face. thing with Superman, right? He's a <laughs> biological creature, but he's from a planet that is much more dense, has a, a much much higher pressure atmosphere. That's why he's so strong. And the gravity. To us? Yeah. So like when he gets to our planet, his bone density is is much more. That's I he's like... used to a red sun, which is a lot low lower powered, like a red dwarf, mm. and <clears throat> uh, the the gravity is a lot less intense on Earth. I remember that because it's the... like that, like back on his planet, he's he's probably just some fucking janitor. Like, well, they're just you know people. Yeah. Like it's the yeah. equivalent well, of us on Earth. It was them on yeah Krypton. And yeah, then when he comes here. He's, like he's just some man. hero. Yeah. So it's like his his body is his his body over evolution has been so it'd be the, the, a similarity, not not an exact comparison, but a similarity would be us going to Mars a little bit. Have you seen in John a way Carter of Mars? like? Yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah that, that, actually, that's very similar to that. That's of a like, great movie because the gravity is so what? much less, the John pressure Carter. is so it's much not lower. A great movie. Did you like it? <laughs> you you really didn't like it. It's a bad movie. I really enjoyed it. Like, I mean, he was cute and she was cute. <clears throat> I like just the whole story behind it. Yeah. I'm sorry, Ben. <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's completely fine. I, I've never actually seen the movie. Oh, really? Me I, neither. I, I, saw, I, was like, mm. I thoroughly enjoyed it because the actual book was written back in 1860, <laughs> roughly, and it was back when they were actually looking at Mars through telescopes and they saw like big lines on there. This guy came up with this whole theory that there's people on Mars and the planet was dying and shit mm. like that. Well, there the book, was people on Mars yeah. and they blew out their atmosphere. That's yep. it. So, yeah. We're next. That's it, but yes, yeah, so, but yes, yeah, so there was just like the whole like thing, and then like these people are living on there, and like the oceans are dried up and shit like that, and just like um, there's this like race of people that can. The end of the books it explains it a lot more, but the the race of people that actually come from like Pluto basically originally, and they can travel between different solar systems and shit, and they mm-hmm. have like these talismans that could make them jump, and they're jumping between Mars and Earth, and a guy on Earth ends up shooting one of them, stealing the tal- talisman, ends up transporting himself across onto Mars, and he can jump like, you know. Fuck, he's got like super fucking jump basically. Yeah. He can jump really high and stuff like that. And double jump. Yeah, double jump and stuff. But what it does is it like basically telegram as they explain in the Makes book. Him seem like a superhero. Yeah, well, it, it basically telegrams his body on Earth across to to Mars. So there's two of them. Mm. So the one on Earth is sleeping while the one on Mars is awake. And if he does a thing, comes back to Earth, you know, he'll wake up in that body on Earth and shit like that. Okay. Yeah. So it's actually it's it's a a really good movie. Oh, okay. So that's what it was because I was gonna th- I was thinking like what if um I, like the reverse of it. If a Martian come to Earth, yeah. they'd be in pain because the gravity difference or something. Like, yeah, it, it, and the amount of oxygen in that air as well. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, but yeah, yeah. but it's yeah. It, it, the going back, going back on the on the Superman point is basically like because because the environment. So it's nothing like Deadpool. All right, yeah, nothing not like really. Deadpool, Deadpool, Deadpool is a completely Deadpool. Deadpool. different yeah. situation. Deadpool's yeah. like Deadpool almost is almost impossible to kill. Well, yeah, al- almost impossible. Except from almost. cancer, he can come back from a drop of blood like Wolverine. Uh, that's a, that, that requires a massive explanation, but, um, 
in short, basically, like with Deadpool, it would be um, so like his regenerative regenerative powers depend on like his body's condition, basically. Mm, so so it'd be like structure. if you slice his head off, it would kind of incapacitate him because that's a rather large piece to grow. Because I think everything is based off his neural network, which starts with your brain. Yeah, but if he gets, and if he doesn't have enough but he gets, energy, he gets to shot through the fucking brain multiple times. So you can't say his brain's any part of it. Yeah, no, the, then he just heals. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like it, like it would have to it be. So, it would be I don't know. It would be cellular. It would yeah. have to be single. But that's cellular what I mean. It's, it's hard to it's hard to explain because it's like there there are parts of the explanation where it's like you slice his head off, and like if you were to leave his head like in a box or something, his entire body would regrow from his head. Yeah, yeah. but he can piece himself back together yeah. as well. So yeah, it, but at the same time, he can also stick his head back onto his body and it fixes yeah. itself. Like that's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, Superman and there, has there, there on is that. also a storyline where like he falls in love with death and basically like isn't this Thanos? Yeah, and Thanos. What Thanos, a slut! Is him. Yeah, I, I, I oh read the chat. That's why I was incorporating. Thanos is such a oh my death is such a slut. She's but like Thanos she's like oh Thanos, oh Deadpool, oh. But yeah, to what back, a slut. To go back onto Superman's God. point, is you know, yeah, you're just like just because a woman wants. Honestly, like mood, like honestly, <laughs> death is like yeah. woman crush Wednesday. <laughs> Hello. Not, not Throat Crush Wednesday? Throat Crush Thursday. Yeah, Throat Crush Ooh. Thursday. That's okay. my favourite day of the week. <clears throat> throat yeah. Crush Thursday. All right, so based on Throat Crush Thursday, what's Monday? Masturbation Monday, Ethan. Everyone right, fucking so knows that. So what's Tuesday? It's tame. What's Tuesday? Taint, uh, touch, Tuesday. Uh, no, yes. I like that. What's Wednesday? Taint Wank tickle. off Wednesday. Wank off Wednesday. So we've got two days of masturbating. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay, yeah, I like it. Yeah. Thursdays, Throat work. Crush Thursdays. Yep. Fridays? Fuck me Friday. Yeah. Fuck me Fridays. I was going to be Sit like on finger my me face Friday. Saturday. Yeah. Sit on my face Saturday. Sunday? Uh, sounding. Ooh. <laughs> sounding Sundays. Sounding Sundays. Sound me Sunday. Do, sound can, me Sundays. Can women do sounding too? Yeah, to yeah. an extent, I'm okay, sure. Yeah. They have It'd a be, urethra. Yeah, yeah but I know, it would work better on the guy though because it's it's straight pretty much for quite yeah, a while. With a, yeah, but with a, with, a, with a girl, it's like, it, it's there, so. What the fuck? <laughs> Watch yourself. Um... Yeah. So sounding for women. So um, <laughs> back onto the Superman point. Yes. Oh, that's cool. He can he can burn himself. He can kill himself. All right. Let's okay. go to another one. I need to go to the bathroom again. again. Over and over. Do you have like a bladder again. of a woman? Oh wait, you coming are coming back. Oh coming God. back. Surprise! Yeah, I do. Shock her. Drink forever. Drink forever. Um. <laughs> Boom. I. There anything, was a- anyone has anything else to talk about? There was a there was a there was a, a question mm. that I was remembering Good on chat involved on yeah. Facebook actually uh, about the whole like would you take would you take a billion dollars now or go back to when you were seven years old knowing what you know now and continue on with life like rich no and rich. I would actually I wouldn't because I would rather take the money now than have like then go back. Yeah. Because the experiences has made me what I am now and I'm happy to be what I am, so I wouldn't like to go back. No, but you know what you know. Everything now. Yeah, yeah, but you still have to go through it. Yeah, true. Well, that's the thing is that you have the ability to change it. No, you you can't. Not with death, you can't change. You can't can't change death. Yeah, a death will replace a death. (laughs) This is a very very hypothetical situation. My grandfather died from a heart attack. You can't fix that. (laughs) You can't fix that. You cannot fix that. That Yeah, my dad died of a heart attack too. Yeah, so. so. Bryce. You learnt neurosurgery. Oh. You were able to fix him. No, but he had a heart attack like three times. By that point, your body's fucked. No, does it? <laughs> it's <laughs> it's really, hypothetical. It is. Yeah, yeah. yeah it is. It's I know. Ruining the fucking hypothetically, Christian, bro. No, hypothetically though, but no, I seriously still wouldn't. I'd actually. I'd rather the million so we can all buy a house together. Yeah, but I'd like to continue on from where I am, not have to relive all that shit. Not not with the same. Like even if I had the same knowledge, I don't think. A certain things it won't make a difference because I'd still feel the same about certain things and stuff like that. So it's yeah. like I'd rather just continue on and have money, yeah. Then go back and be like, oh, I know all this shit about me, but it really doesn't fucking matter because yeah, I'm, no, I'm see, seven. I, I'm what seven years old. I have a loophole. Go Bitcoin. <laughs> Google. <laughs> Google invent Google. Yeah, Google seven year old that invents Google. Actually, buy out Yahoo yourself. You'd be a fucking millionaire. Literally, no, literally, like, make sure you get you build up as much of a, a high end computer as you can. As soon as Bitcoin gets invented, just fucking just farm it. Buy ten dollars worth of it. By the time it hits but now, millionaire, you affect. You would affect it though. Yeah, 
Oh, probably. You'd increase its value way too soon. You wouldn't know when to sell your Bitcoin. But that's but that's the thing. That's the thing. No. Oh, too much of a gamble. I'd rather the million. I'd rather the million buy, now. We'd buy yeah. a house. Yeah, I'd rather we could have two million because, between the two of us, yeah. and we could buy a bigger house. Because I'm, I'm happy you, where you I am. You sit on now. your two million. I'll be here at um, twenty billion. I don't, that's all right. But you won't be that's our friend. Fine. But could you imagine that? You might not be our friend in the future because you become some Bitcoin nerd, and we'll yeah. be like, "Fuck off, you yeah, Bitcoin fuck off, nerd. nerd." We're going to do our radio fucking podcast by ourselves. Yeah, could be worse. It could be an SJW. You could. Oh. Oh. Oh, go help the minority. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're fucking horrible. No, I'm like, I'm like, I yes, they yeah, think help, you're a racist. But I'm like, no, but I'm like, yeah, help the ones in need. But yeah, like, help, don't help need. Don't people. go and change the fucking laws for someone less than fifteen percent of the population. You not know even what I mean? that. Like, not even that. I'm just like, you come into a population. You know what I mean? Like that. That, that like, frames that argument a lot worse. No, but I think what you mean to say is like, don't change the law to encourage um, someone putting. Uh, their race over the needs of no, not the just a race, lot of not even that. Not even that. Because I'm just going to state it the way it is. If you come from one culture and you come over here and you're like, oh, I want it to be the exact same, don't fucking leave where the fuck you come from, you dickhead. Go fix where you are. I'm, if you I'm, think it's I'm so sorry, great, stay there and fix it. But I'm sorry, but you come over here to better yourself. We better don't want you, our Centrelink paying for your seven wives. Just fucking join in on the population that's over here and then grow with it. Still do your own little shit on the side, but don't fucking push it on that's people. That's what your front I'm door's not, for. I'm you do it in your home. Yeah. That's exactly it. I'm not dis- I'm not disagreeing on uh, what you're talking about. Like yeah. I 100% agree that like if you if you come over if you come over to our country and expect it to be the same as the previous country, that's not going to happen. There's a reason because, the country failed. Yeah, yeah like, there there are reasons why. Like there, there, there's also like there, there's a vast difference between certain cultures and certain countries. You know, you cross over certain borders and th- there's going to be difference. But what I'm is. what I'm talking that's a beautiful thing. We need diversity. Yeah, Ooh. and diversity is a beautiful that's thing. That's what makes I good chicken. Agree uh, with. That's what good, makes good Chinese food. Italian. Italian food. Indian, Indian food. Turkish. Not, sushi. Actually, what is Spanish food? Espanol or food? No, but what, exact, what exactly Beats? is it? No, that's no. Italian. Pasta. That's Italian. Oh, that's Spanish. T- that, Mexican? Yeah, Spanish that's what I'm saying. What is Spanish? Is, Spanish. Spanish food. It'd be like... They do all those seafood, but I know like... But what, yeah, would, actually, the, like... Um, what's that like rice pe- dish? Pe- uh, pe- pe- Quinoa? No, no, no. Uh, it's it's on the tip of my tongue. Um, Same. Pe- uh, Couscous? Pe- uh, yeah. polen- no, not polenta. <laughs> not polenta. Uh, Penne pasta? No, I used to make it. It's like it's it's like this. You, they cook it in the fry pan. It's rice. Placenta? And it's like seafood. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, that's my food. Placentas. <laughs> I eat placentas. Mm, Everyone yummy. heard it here first. I eat placentas. <laughs> but no, I um, it's pikelets. Papaya? No, no, oh. no. You? I know. I it. know what you're trying to say. You know what I'm Pantera? trying to say. Pantera. I used to make it. Pantera. I used to help make it. Um. I fucking don't what know. What the fuck is I'm the gonna, word? Can someone Google oh it. Like, holy shit. In okay. the chat, someone. I'm just going to search, just, like, Spanish dishes. She'll come, she'll chime back in. But um, Iraqi food. I made I made a soup once, and the soup was called al Akbar. Oh, Jesus. But the funny was thing Was it is, explosive? No, because <laughs> it, it was so delicious. Like, it was a very... It was a slow-cooked slow vegetarian soup. It was the most delicious soup I've ever made. Uh, I made it to impress this uh, vegetarian girlfriend I was dating at the time. And um, Did you smash like avocado on toast? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Um, you got it. It's... So, croquettes, um, ratatouille, chorizo, paella... Paella. That's the name of it. Is, That's is, the name of it. Is paella. paella. Is ratatouille actually Spanish? Yeah, they're all Spanish. Oh, well, I thought that was French. And so yeah, is... Yeah, so did I. Oh. Thanks to that ratatouille. I, I, I thought, thought it was learned. Italian. Pisto? And yeah. Oh, yeah. Paella. Paella. Paella is what it's we're thinking of. It's now it's like, of. oh, duh. Yep. Okay, yeah. that makes it. Yep. As soon as I saw it, I was like, yeah. that's it. Yeah, it's, um, just, it's just like you have all these main cultures and I'm seeing that thing. I'm like, what the fuck is Spanish as main? Because they kind of like get culturally influenced a lot by different areas. Like no, med- med- like Mediterranean is very... Yeah, it's very Mediterranean. Yeah. yeah. It all sort of gets grouped in together. Yeah. It's sort of yeah. fucking... But yeah, job. like um, on, on, the, on the, the laws that you're talking about, I 100% agree that you shouldn't make laws to uh, better one person over another, but at the same time as like... Laws for the bell curve. They're, like um, mm. there, there, is a, there is a reason why some people like do leave their country and it's... No, I understand. Not, I need to help like, them in weak... Yeah, like, they're, they're, I understand there that. There are weaker people who do need help and I... I, I understand that. I know, I know oh, that you understand it. I'm, it. I'm just expressing that that point of like... Ethan's who, not a fallen yeah. racist. I'm just saying like... <laughs> yeah, no, no. I'm, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, expressing, I'm expressing a point to some people out there who might argue the whole like... Um, oh, our country is our country. It's like no, I'm not like our that. country. Our country on colonists. We're a, we're a when I when I was growing up, it's a multicultural fucking country. Yeah. That is what was drummed into me as a fucking kid, and I yeah. fucking believe. But that. it's true yeah. because right. The, and, and and sorry, oh, yeah. yeah. I was gonna say it. It is like you look back and back, even in the gold rush era of Australia, 
you had Indians coming over with the spices and stuff to help cook the food. You had your Chinese that had the Chinese yep. medicine that helped everyone else out there. You had a lot of people coming from Nepal and stuff. You had a lot of people coming from Russia. The Irish. Um, from you have Irish, European, like a lot of Europeans coming across, um, Africans and stuff like that, because they could handle those harsher regions and stuff yeah. like that. So we are a multicultural country and the fucking and that's fucking awesome. It is awesome, but a lot of people over here are like, oh we're not multicultural. Fuck we fucking we are. are. I'm sorry, but we are and you're pull, not pull the white but Australia you're not, shit you're not, out of your ass. We don't need that. What really pisses me off is I met this um no, she's not even Chinese, she's Australian by fucking more generations than I am. And I met her and all these people like, oh, you fucking chunk and this and that. And she's like, I'm Australian. She says, my family come over in fucking 1840. And I'm like, wow, this chick is more Australian than fucking half of us standing here. Oh, I'm not me. Yeah. No, but I've been here for a while. But no, yeah. But that's no, what I'm yeah. saying though. Like, I understand. Yeah. You know, like for me, it's just like, well, I'm only fucking basically technically first generation from my dad's side. Yeah. Like, and that's really what you go off of his dad's side. So... I'm really only first generation Australian, really. Yeah. Well, that's that's what that that's another thing that also nullifies a lot of the like anti-immigration, uh, set as well, not sentiment. It's like anti-immigration sort of backlash that you get anywhere. <laughs> Tash is like, like when yeah, you, this got serious. Yeah. Where, uh, <laughs> like if you, if you look at even like America, it's based off of like you know the Irish coming over, the Italians coming over. Oh, they all take turns of who we're going to get you know? racist against. And it's, yeah. it's the same with Australia. Just like like you said, there were Indians who brought their spices, the Chinese who brought but, their medi- but what, medicine. But, but what I am going to say though, and this it's going to sound racist as fuck, but you middle that the middle. Is this to oh, add, but. Sorry, guys. <laughs> That's all right. But the, um, that ad supports Twitch, not us. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Boom. Twitch. Fucking but hell. what I am going to yeah. say is, is okay, your nation is getting blown up in the Middle East and your people are dying and it's war torn. So you're fleeing your fucking country. Well, guess what? Grow some fucking balls because did you see a lot of people fleeing from Germany when they needed to? No. What about in fucking Britain when they're getting bombed every night for two fucking years straight? You see them fleeing? No. They fucking grouped together and they fought back, you pussies. <laughs> I'm sorry, but grow some fucking balls and fight for your fucking country. Otherwise, you're not worth it. You're not. It's kind of hard. Or at I least, at least in come some here, cases, it's a bit build difficult. up yourself really, and then no. go back. They they created their own issue because they weren't strong enough to fight for what they believed in. Uh, they let they let dictators get exactly. in place, and, and that is slowly sort of happening here. But us, but the thing turning is, turning a blind eye, yeah. But the thing is, is back, uh, back no. you know back then people didn't flee. Even back then, you had the Ottoman Empire that disbanded, and you ended up with Turkey and. You know, all these different countries and stuff, like the Middle East and Iran, Fucking Iraq. Pussy Ottoman but Empire. to an extent, though, Bryce, I partly agree with that, but I, yeah, partly agree with that Very because small they didn't have the weapons they do now. I'm just saying back because yeah. now the they Ottoman, have some the Ottoman up Empire weapons. killed 1.1 million Aryans. Yeah, classic times. And, no, and, but, and did they do it with an AK-15 though? They did it no, with fucking that, machine guns. To an extent, the Ottoman Empire. Yes, the Ottoman Empire wasn't disbanded until 1923. I mean, that's good. And that's they, a and good they, point. And they massacred these people in 19 freaking was it 1916 or 1917? Just before the war. No, in the war. Oh, during. Oh, yeah. With yeah, machine during. guns that Germany gave them, so it's no different to what they have now. Yeah. It's like exactly the same, and you have fled your country that, that it needs you to fight for it. But do they yeah. have the knowledge of that though? No, that's the issue. That's a part of the do issue. They get... Whether they have the knowledge to how to rebuild their country, they do because they're smart. They are. There's a lot of smart people ex- over there. There they're... is no. There fucking is. I'm not saying they're dumb. I'm just saying there is very smart people, right? But whether they have the establishments in place, like proper universities established to help them, no. But they've all been bombed or taken no. over, or they're teaching the wrong ways. Women which, can't go there. Yeah, well, they they yeah, should that's know what, their place. That's what I'm saying. A lot of things but, are backwards, um, but they come over here and they're preaching that to us. Yeah. No, and they're but, trying to change our culture into their culture. And it's like, I'm sorry, but go back to your nation and fight for but it. But all and dirt's if, just dirt. Doesn't matter what dirt. part yeah. of dirt you're born on. I think we should. No, I really want fucking aliens to come and all of us to go. Oh shit. All right, we'll work together then. Yeah, like, that's what I need us to we're do. We're all oh, earthlings. Yeah. yeah, we need a that's fucking. That's all we need but to forget about. Also, I really but, do feel. I feel like that uh, in this day and age as well. That um, <laughs> back on the internet thing is like because of the amount of connectivity in this world, we are so open to knowing about other other people, other places, and other cultures in a way that like someone can come to this country. They can say like, we're from here. And in a quick Google search, we can learn about a bunch of stuff from yeah. that country and try and try our hardest to relate with someone and try to bring them into our fold like and be a bit open. Like we met a Spanish open. person and are like, oh, do you like paella? Yeah, do you love paella? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah I, have no, I have no problem. No, like, I'm just saying. On yours, I like, but yeah. there is some people that come to this country to educate themselves to be able to go yeah, back. They d- they, that's and, what, and if that's, they do that and they go back, that's They don't cool. have to go back, but like, I'm happy with them. No. If that's their intent to like, all right, I can't be, I can't 
learn I can't learn the knowledge I need to learn to help rebuild my country here. <laughs> the grenade right. outside my window is too distracting for my studies. So all right, so I will go to Australia, I will summon the money and, and then we'll find out ways and I will better educate myself and build myself up to become greater than I am now that's, so that I can fine. go back. And there is people like that. Like I'm there not is, saying they're all like that. I'm no, yeah. I'm not saying they're all people that come over and pushing but it. there's like but times sort of in in a form have changed different forms of fighting for your land and fighting for your country at time like um some respect look at africa that's yeah. fucking war torn at the moment yeah. they're killing all yeah. the fucking whites over there and they're yeah. using ak-47 so yeah and yeah, the whites the whites are cunts there yeah, but, <laughs> but i'm but you know the whites are fighting back and they're fighting back for what they believe in so uh. the thing is is there's still, you know, it's, you fight yeah. for what you believe and to flee from something that, like, I can understand fleeing. But also fleeing. you can just sometimes believe what you believe and just fucking not enforce it on exactly. people. Exactly. Don't push it yeah. on people. And that's what I'm getting at. No, like, that's like, what I was saying fuck before. you because you don't why, believe what I believe and exactly. I'm going to kill you. That's, that's why exactly they've it. got to fight back and, that's and be the, like, that's the issue they have over there and it's, yeah. it's really you ha- you religious have a, wars. It's you should have a fucking front door on your home and you do it in your home. Exactly. Do it with your family. You Just enjoy each other's company. You don't have to fucking force everyone. Like, if you... If you're trying to change other people aggressively, at all, yeah. you know, like, it's fucked. Well, it's like my, I mean, this is probably And in a form, in that's like changing laws, like freedom of speech and shit like that. That's fucked. Yeah, like, you're, just yeah. Let you're allowed, people to, you're be allowed people. to speak about what you want. And, you know, yeah, that's, yeah, what sorry. This, yeah, yeah. No, but that's yeah. what this country was built on. It's about being free about what you want, but you don't push it on everyone else. You know, we get fucked off with Jehovah's Witness coming knocking on our Hello. fucking door. Hello. Yeah. But we have the freedom Hello. of speech yeah. to go, can Hello. you please leave? Hello. 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 Hey, as Jehovah's Witness? Yeah. No, but, but we have the freedom of speech to go, hey, can you leave? I don't yeah, want to talk about say this. That to, if, if, if you did that to, say, someone that's in some fucking, I don't know, some Muslim North thing. Korea. No, no, some Muslim thing. I'm going to say it the way it is. Is is. I'm, I'm not going to lie, but you say that to that, they come up to you and they start preaching to you and you go, I'm sorry, I don't believe in that. And then they fucking get in your face. At least yeah. the Jehovah's Witness, you close the fucking door and they oh, fuck off. N- not necessarily. Oh, a lot of them do. I just go, I'm sorry. Yeah. Boom. I love they that. They can be pretty aggressive. Yeah, they that, can be. That, but that, that black book um, sketch. Anyone can be pretty yeah, aggressive. Yeah, and that's exactly it. It's it just, just like, depends on the person but it's and like, how strong they I don't want to hear believe. your shit. Keep it yeah. away from me. Like It's not my thing, but well, thank you for coming around. Not for me. Bye. Yeah, right. Well, like with that South Africa thing, like, I mean, this could get me in trouble, but my boss, she's part of like a church and her husband's a pastor and... Her, like, fucking uncle's a pastor and blah, blah, blah. I love how she said this could get me in trouble but keeps going. Yeah, well, like... So they're Italian? Pastors? Pastors. <laughs> Sorry, continue. They're all pastors. <laughs> they're um, pastors. They're like, thin they pasta. Have, they have, like, a thing going in South Africa where, like, they're head of some, whatever, Christianity church. And then um, one of the girls from work went there and they were going on and on about, like, how, like, don't wear anything nice because you'll get mugged. Like, don't wear white shoes. Don't wear anything. Don't stand out. Don't wear anything that would make you think that you're worth robbing because you just don't want to stand out. And I'm like, I can just go there and mind your own business. I think that's just a result of high crime rate, though. Yeah. It, it is. That, well, that's Cape York. Once you get away from Cape York, you're fine. Yeah, well, they were... I don't think they were oh, sorry, in Sorry, Cape Town. Of, sorry, not Cape York. Cape, yeah. I don't think they were in Stay any away from Cape York. York. Great Barrier Reef. You don't know <laughs> yeah. what those anemone can do. Don't do it. If no, you look like, hard enough, you can see Papua New Guinea. Yeah. Look at what Steve Irwin happened. What happened to Steve Irwin? Oh, no, that was Port uh, Douglas. And you know how I know this and remember this? Is that we, um, when we were young and reckless, we stole a giant uh, concrete crocodile from someone's front yard. Uh, and while I tore it off their front yard, we accidentally ripped the front, oh, well, crime. But, um, <laughs> and, and we took, we pinched it and put it out the front of our house at the time. But Why would you put it out the front of your house? Because we were like suburbs away, like ages away, so but it's fine. still. But no, hear me out. But we don't live there anymore, so it's fine. But what I'm getting at, um, we were sitting in the car and then Adam, he like pipes up and he's like, I got the perfect name for it. And me and Morgan are like, all right, what, what's the name for it? Oh, and Mark was there at the time. Yeah. And he goes, Douglas. I'm like, why Douglas? And he's like, well, I just Googled where Steve Owen died. Oh. <laughs> Savage. Port Douglas. It was no, like, but like classic that's, name that's for Steve awful. Owen. I remember when Steve Owen died that year, we did a, I was in grade five of primary school maybe, and we had to do like an assignment on a great Australian, and I did mine on really? Steve Owen. Really? I was Owen like six, I, I think. Him. No, that's how, uh, seven. We all been seven. Seven. Grade seven. Yeah, it sounds about right because. Seven. Um, yeah. I remember in that same week, Peter Brock also died. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you it was like, it's like, which one was the worst tragedy? <laughs> Steve, I don't know who Steve Owen. Is. Yeah, Steve it's still Owen. Steve yeah. Owen. But yeah. Peter yeah. Brock is a race car driver. He was one of yeah. the. He yeah, said the fastest slap on Bathurst. Steve Owen, definitely Steve Owen. Still, Steve a, Owen. still an Australian icon, Disrespect really. Respect the dead. Don't give a fuck. I do that all the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. she goes to metal gigs. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but no, you were saying on the South African thing. I just. I'm that was the chat. Watch yourself. Oh, okay. 
But no, a lot of that is um, it, yeah, it's it's only Cape it's, Town over there, yeah. which is like that. But when you do get out, well, it's like stop being such a fucking annoying Christian pusher, yeah. over, right? Maybe they'll leave you alone but if you a, leave them alone. Yeah. Jesus Christ, that's pretty much it. It's like stop being in their fucking business. That's exactly it. Don't push your shit on them. And they won't retaliate in the way they have because the only reason they've retaliated is because you've fucking done that to them. Oh, is it almost time? Where's the crocodile now? No, I... Oh. <laughs> Your mum's asking me where's the crocodile now. She I'm wants like, it now, I bet you. Yeah. Uh, it's out the front of a rental property. Yeah, I remember I remember it. I remember seeing it <laughs> Douglas, there. Yeah. yeah. And that... But yeah, anyway. no, it's like, Doug. Douglas. Oh, yeah, no, Dougie. Dougie. That's pretty much it. Just don't push your shit on people. Pretty much, at the end of the day, compassion will always beat violence. Dirt's just yeah. dirt. Doesn't matter what you know? part of dirt you grew up on. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I do Can you to... just hold it in and have the full orgasm, not just one eighth? Yeah, I'm if sorry. you hold it in. I'm sorry, but it actually If you hold looked... in a sneeze, you could orgasm so fucking good. Ew, it like okay, he, it shut like the fuck kinda... up, Ethan. You make it work. Do you know looked... if you hold your, like, sneeze in and stuff, like, you could actually pop, blop, like, pop a fucking blood vessel yeah, in your eyes. Yeah, it's bad for you. Yeah. Oh, we're watching the Johnny Knoxville video, and he tra- he almost sneezed one time, and his because he had an injury with his eye socket, and his eye nearly popped out. That was fucking yeah. hilarious. Oh yeah, fucking I fucking God. remember that. Holy oh, shit. What the fuck? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Johnny Knoxville. <laughs> We've got two minutes. But yeah, at the, at the yeah end we're wrapping day, up. We're wrapping up. At the end of the day, no, at, the okay. of, at the end of the day, uh, compassion will always beat violence, because... Uh, everyone just wants to live. You know what I mean? That's yeah. that the everyone purpose of life is shit. to just live, you know? Yeah, you just do your own shit. And if if every, if everyone can get along and be compassionate about everyone else's stuff, then we can have a society that will live together. I have, just a, live I have a good example. And don't impact have, on I, other people's I lives. I have a perfect example of Aggressively this, impact. Like exactly. you can be polite and be like, hey man, I love you. No, just live yeah, hedonistically and live self-servingly as long as you don't negatively impact on other people's lives. Don't step on other people. To yeah, and, and don't advantage. eat other people's M&Ms. Creative criticism. <laughs> <laughs> so, you made a negative impact on him. He was ruined. <laughs> was... No, no, no. <laughs> and construct- so, so, so context, um, a few weeks ago when Ben went to the UK, I had my brother come and stay and um, Ben bought like this, this, this Easter edition of uh, a big bucket of M&Ms and um, my brother stayed with me for, the, for like a weekend and fantastic brother, didn't, didn't play up at all. But the one thing he fucking did, which was rude and selfish, was he ate... All of Ben's M and M's. We share a fridge, so there's no yeah. Yeah, so we all we all share each other's food, and it's called respecting each other's property. And mate, anyway, <laughs> we love you. We love you. All right, it's nine o'clock. Yeah, we're gonna wrap up. We're gonna wrap up on the M and M's. Yeah, constru- constructive no. constructive criticism is a uh, is a is a great thing. You know, like actually telling someone like like if they do something and be like, hey, that 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 impacted me this way. And actually letting them know. Moral of the story, don't be a cunt. Yeah, don't, pretty much. Don't criticize like, for being a cunt. Don't be a cunt. Like, actually, actually Just don't be try a and fucking cunt. make a positive impact on the world. Don't be don't be a negative Nancy. Anyway, wrapping up. So, we want to thank hey, our sponsors, we... Scramble Pixels. Scramble Pixels, they're an amazing company. The lovely little media production company that helps make all this happen. Wow. We gave them a little, like, little shout out in the uh, Lost Mail episode. Uh, and goodbye and thank you. We love you. Anyone else? Final words? Bye. I like chicken and chicken likes Stop me. Dick. I gotta pee. Stop it. Be- don't be a cunt. Don't be a cunt. Thank you very much. Only if you're gonna be in my pants, though. Have a fantastic evening. Wonderful. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>